Welcome, welcome. This is episode 75, your hump day podcast, 8-Bit Bourbon. This is the May 13th edition, which I'm going to start trying to do every week, but I'm Friday sure. Friday the 13th. Mm, it's not. Oh. I wish it was, though. <laughs> Which, Wednesday. Should we segue Tuesday. that into Jason Voorhees and just start talking about Mortal Kombat X? Or... No. Nah. It's too early. Okay. Uh, we're in the video podcast room. Okay, we don't have a lot to talk about, so we got to be careful. No, we got this. Uh, that's yeah, true. We can't I, use up too many good <laughs> topics. I check early. my hair. Sorry. I was on it. <laughs> yeah, I always forget, too, that like I'm, I'll like do stuff for the camera that I forget that most 95% of people are just listening to the yeah. podcast and they can't see, so I need to not do What's that either. What's the proper etiquette since we don't really know what we're doing? You're supposed to look in the camera or look at each other when we talk? Uh, I think it depends on the podcast. Because I'm going to get distracted. I think with this I'm new setup. I'm not going to do anything. I think with this new setup, you got to look at the screen. And, that's, uh, that's what I think. Since it is Friday... Wednesday the 13th. Go fucking Rangers. They better be winning right, right now if you guys are listening to this. That's correct. They came back from the brink of elimination. Now it's a it's a real series. And game 7. Game fucking and 7. And really the the main topic I want to talk about this week is that Tom Brady got suspended. <laughs> yeah. And also, <laughs> booyah. If there's no uh episode what, what did you say this one? 75. If there's no episode 76 because the Rangers lost and we killed the, we killed ourselves. Yeah, that would be if if we if it or yeah, even it's if it's late, just assume that we're dead. We we Ritually committed suicide. <clears throat> um, we also have delicious drinks. Uh huh. Rosemary, maple. What did I say were they? Whiskey I don't know. Sours? I give you a second try. I always forget. They're like rose, crash the rosemary, <laughs> rosemary, maple, whiskey sours. I think that's what they are. Mm-hmm. And they're fucking delicious. They are really they're delightful. They're hoity toity. We've also got backups, uh, the champagne of beers, Miller High Life. Fun fact about me. Oh, and I've got a Kickstart here. Um, they're a dollar, price chopper. Dollar can on sale. Well, fuck. <clears throat> but uh, I'm I'm not the biggest like uh, mixed drink kind of guy, but whiskey sours are my absolute favorite uh, go to drink. That is a fun fact. I don't I'm not a big martini guy. I know you guys like martinis. I love martinis. I don't I don't hate them. Just not really my thing. Mm, and I don't martinis. like uh, I don't think I like old fashions or Manhattans that much. I'm a whiskey sour guy. I love a good um, whiskey sour. I like. I like. Did you ever have a whiskey uh, sour with the egg the egg whites in it? Yes, oh, yeah. so good. Whiskey sours are awesome. It's really freaky drinking, but you're like, I, I always always just play the rule out. Oh, yeah, alcohol will kill all the germs. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the same rule that we use when we go out looking for chicks too. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely. What was I gonna? I had something else to say about that though. Oh yeah, uh, I, yeah, I like old fashions and Manhattan's. I think I like old fashions better than Manhattan's though. Yeah, I'm just not a big. Which one has the vermouth in it? Uh, old fashions. Yeah, that's just not my not my jam. I feel if you had a good old fashioned, I'm sure if it. I had a good, I mean, I don't hate them. I just because <laughs> I don't think you could really taste the vermouth that much in it. Like it's it's one of what is you know, vermouth? It's like olive oil jizz. I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, bee semen. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Shactus. <laughs> I wish I wish we could get Shactus in the room. That'd be our podcast. Uh, it would be amazing if we could record outdoors, but it would just the background noise would just be. A oh nightmare. yeah. Plus my neighbors, they'll be loud enough for. Uh, yeah, you'll sound you'll, like we're outdoors. You'll hear them through the window. If you don't know who Shactus is, it's our uh, bumblebee that we, hangs out on my porch. I've never seen anything like this. It's been like, it, was it out? Was it out there today? No, I didn't see him. Yeah, but I'm like five concerned. five days in a row, this thing comes. It's this huge bumblebee. It just hovers around like face level to us. Doesn't get too close to us mm-hmm. normally. Every once in a while, shows us its huge ass. Yeah, and There's, attacks and the it, birds that live in the wall of your house. And we call him Shaktis because he's a huge black bumblebee, and he puts his back legs together. And it looks like he's got a huge cock. Big, so. big old one. So he's like Shaq. We're very mature. Well, Shaq's got a huge one. I, I learned that in the Justin Bieber roast. <laughs> I think you learned that from me five years ago. I've been using that <laughs> joke forever. I was so pumped when they said that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but he like attacks birds and shit that fly by. He attacks other bugs. He's awesome. There's like wasp up, up like mind their own business. To, they're far enough away they'll never do anything to you. But they come down a little bit and he fucking goes after him. He, he doesn't mess around. No. He's like our protector. He's like our, you know, he's like our pet, uh, some sort of video game term for having a pet animal, right? Pet. Pet, I don't know. Pet shack. I tried to bring it back to the podcast. I got nothing though. Nothing. As you, if you watch this podcast, we you know with the air conditioner off since it's eighty something degrees outside, you'll probably just see the sweat start pouring from us yeah. at some point. We'll, we'll pause. No, we will. No. Um, <laughs> I want to get some, some uh, hue lights for this room. Yeah, you should. It's like a hundred dollar investment. I think they're like fifty bucks a pop. Yeah, it would be probably make a lot more sense to just put two of the ones in your room in here. <laughs> It's a lot of effort. <laughs> yeah. It might be easier. It's less, it's less effort than buying it. Yeah, it might be Actually, so no, that's not true because you got to hook up the, the sinker. Yeah, that's, that's never No, I don't big. think that's hard. I don't think that's hard at all. 
But wouldn't you have to, like, wouldn't it fuck up having two in your room and two in this room? No, because I think you set up zones. Oh, you can, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if you needed, like, another Once you add a new ball that, like, labels it, like, it gives it a number. Okay, I thought you needed one of those things for every room. I don't think so. No, I think you it might be annoying on the app. I might have to preset, or I have to reset which room does what. And they just have little Wi-Fi chips in them, right? I think it's magic. (laughs) <laughs> all right never mind. i don't want to know I'm, the not, I'm not exactly sure i just always assumed it was magic i don't really know understand how they work yeah i don't want to know either because that's the other thing if that thing talks directly to them i think it know. really talks i mean I th- if it's magic probably speaks some magic speaks terms. a different language that's why spunky's probably it's probably like a dog whistle spunky's been having panic attacks for three weeks now i feel like you'd be months. a person that was good at magic tricks did you ever uh, have a magic train i had a ma- i had a magic set one time yeah. how'd it go uh, I don't know. I, was, I used to be really I was good. Twelve. At, I don't remember. I used to be really when I worked at the Y. I used to be really good at magic, tricking little kids. It was really fun. <laughs> the, I, using an ice cream truck is not a magic trick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Never tell you my greatest story of all time. I don't know. I don't know if I may have told this on this podcast. I'm gonna tell it again. I was working. I when I was in high school, I worked at the Y, and like a year after high school, I worked uh, at the YMCA as like a counselor which was really bad for the kids because i would just pick all the, the cool ones and we'd play like dodgeball against the losers and stuff like that and we just well you got to toughen them up yeah oh yeah, well, that's what i thought you know? i was like yeah you, you, you gotta be good and uh but anyways there was this one kid uh i won't use his real name but his name was shaman i hope he's listening but he was like i was i saw these little kids like walk around with these little packets like of like i don't know they're like just these little plastic wrapper things and they were all like sucking on them and shit i'm like there's like 20 kids with like these little like things. And I was like, what the hell is this? So I eventually. Were they saw, drugs? No. This gets, oh. this, I wish it was drugs. So eventually oh, I, see, I, I see this kid. He's got like a little brown bag. He's just handing them out by like a handful. Just like to the, to the fucking all these kids. And they're all sucking these things down, drinking them. So I take one. And it was fucking flavored lube that he took from his mom's drawer. Oh. <laughs> like, dude, it was like a horror movie. Like I turned what around. The fuck? And like. Like, 30 kids were just drinking them like they were fucking, like, Capri Suns. Dude. Dude, I was just walking around, like, slapping them out of parents, or these kids' hands and shit. Then I had to call the kid's mom. And I would have never done that. Well, I had, they, like, made me do it. They're like, you found it, you gotta do it. I'm like, why the, f- just, just, no. Right, just, how about we just never talk about this again? And I called her, she came, and I was like, I just had this bag. Did like, she came? Yeah. <laughs> she came hard. Uh, she came, and I, she had, like, this... I just had, like, this defeated look. I was like, your son brought these in. Like, I'm sorry. And she looked horrified. Oh, boy. You know, because at the end of the day, when you think about it, like, it's not even that embarrassing. Like, obviously, she has a sex life. Like, it's not like it was, like, it's not like he brought in, like, a footlong dildo. But just the fact that you have to acknowledge that those are yours mm-hmm. makes it, I don't know. And the fact that, like, 30, 30 right. like, 6 through 8-year-olds drank. We thought we were going to have to call poison control. Oh, God. But they never knew, right? No, we had the... Like, no. the kids never knew no, what no. was going on. We never told the other. How did yeah. you know it was lube? Did it say, like, KY on it? I took it one or? of the things, yeah. It was, like, it said, like, it just lube said, like, so, oh, flavored Jesus lube. Christ. Or flavored jelly, whatever they call it. Yeah, we had to call the poison control. Did you keep any for yourself? Yeah, I took them. I, I, oh, yeah, I gave her, like, a quarter of the bag. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, the maple syrup mm. from this I used for um, uh, whiskey sour. That's fine with me. But we're, yeah, we, we're had to call, we had to call the poison control number on the thing and explain to them that they're... Um, and just ask him if it was a... <laughs> like 60 pound kids that drank glue. Yeah. Would they say it was fine? They said it was fine. Yeah. Because I guess like dogs. Edibles, edible, them. I guess. I guess dogs get into them all the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. <laughs> Ingest them to their butt. You know, I've got a. Uh, no, I can't yet. I was going to say, I've got a great segue from that into the next little, game. But... Little kids drinking lube? Yeah. Well, it, was just... it, was, it was awful. Like, I was. I was. It was fucking hilarious. But it was it's crazy. Real, it's like, really that funny. shit doesn't happen. Yeah, that is that's tough for that woman. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's like that one time. Remember we had that one time at Walmart, and like everybody was like coughing and shit, and then we just started noticing everybody was like wiping their face with their hands. Everybody was coughing, and mm-hmm. sneezing. We were like, "Get the fuck out of here!" That's the way it was at the YMCA. It was like, "I have to get out of here." Because I had to call his fucking mom. Yeah, I don't know what I would have done there. I probably would have just taken it and just never said a word to anyone, throwing it all the garbage. Yeah. Of course, you had to. I guess you had to worry about them dying. Yeah, Even nah, it wasn't. was flavored, but you, know, I, mean, you I, never know. I, didn't give them, I hated those fucking kids. I hope, I hope some of them fucking died. So, yeah, hope, the weak, <laughs> the weak ones. It's scary now when I like see some of them out in, at the bar and shit. Yeah, that is scary. Yeah. How old were they when you did that? It, from like ages like six to like twelve. And how old were you? Eighteen. 
Okay, yeah. yeah so, so so we're that we're that old now. We're there twenty one. That's good. Yeah, I started there when I was like sixteen. I think I worked there until I was like eighteen. Oh, I used to love coming there and playing basketball mm-hmm. and dunking off the walls. And just shit fucking so much dunking fun. off the YMCA walls. <laughs> just and like these make, fucking ten year olds making the little kids like when we had enough adults, we would just like make the little yeah. kids stand at the <laughs> sideline. <laughs> I would lose a game. Like I don't think it was. I think I could have stay out of the court for another one. <laughs> Uh, that was good. And times. then I broke my ankle and I got in trouble. Because we weren't supposed to be playing basketball. At all? No, not at all. I was, supposed to, I was there to supervise, not participate. Oh, you mean because you were playing basketball? Yeah. I see. And the like, one bitch lady, she did an accident report when we were like, don't worry about it. We're like 18, we're under our parents' like health insurance. It doesn't fucking matter. Well, she probably didn't want to get sued. My parents would sue. Well, I know, but. I might. I might. Fuck the YMCA. The YMCA is a fucking shithole. <laughs> yeah, you know, the YMCA was good for kids for a long time. The new one is just basically like a high-end gym that they've funded with public money but run like a business. It's absolute bullshit. Yeah. I, I can safely say I've seen enough little kid penis that I've never seen another I need never need to see another one again in my life. Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe. Fingers never crossed. Say, never, Fingers crossed. Never, some boys. never say never. <laughs> Where are we going with this? You pervert. But I, have, but I have seen a lot of them. You're, you're talking about little boy penis, <laughs> flavored lube. I don't know. I'm just trying to survive over here. I don't know what's going on. I didn't put two of them together. <laughs> am, I getting, were, am I getting roofied? What's they happening were, right were, now? They were a second or they were, I don't know. Yeah. It's the heat. Yeah, it's true. It's It actually is the This heat. drink, man, so fucking good. It's so good. Uh, you know what's great about this, too? It's like a sour. It's literally the sour is the lemon juice, so it's not mm-hmm. like some artificial yeah. bullshit. You know? I just started buying like... Actual lemon Yeah, it's the, so the first time was way too. We went real whitey, whitey, hoity toity. Dude, it took forever. It was like, we it was like, like three fresh, lemons per drink. We were or... like freshly squeezing lemons. Mm. So, what else you been up to outside of uh, flavored lube? Um, trying to get the Twitch stream thing off the ground. Yeah. Problem is, I'm really fucking lazy. Yeah. And yeah, I'm had... <laughs> and I'm really hungover most time we do doing it. Like, uh, we've been talking about how we never would never buy that Metal Gear when it was like thirty bucks or twenty bucks, mm. fifteen bucks. It was on sale on PS4 for eight bucks, so I bought it. So I want to play that. I was gonna twitch it out. I come in here, I sat it up, and I started watching the Tim Shaver documentary thing. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Game and, over. And I was like, "Well, well, I was gonna do it before we went and played uh, basketball and tennis, which I pulled a muscle somewhere in here, so it hurts. If you see me like hunch over playing tennis, by the way." Oh, I have a strong forearm, and I not have, not I basketball, <laughs> tennis. I think it was tennis. Yeah, it was definitely tennis. But it hurts. We, I mean, unless you pulled it playing out, that might yeah. even be funnier. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, it hurts to, like breathe sometimes. So if you hear me wince or cough or yeah, chest muscle shit can fuck you up. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was gonna do that before we we. Uh, I don't know. I, my problem is I'm just trying to figure out schedule and sch- doing schedule is really fucking hard because it's so nice out outside. Like, yeah. I want to do the Twitch stream. People seem to like the Twitch stream. But it's nice out. Yeah, I want to th- go sit out on the porch and I definitely think barbecue it, or go take my dog for a walk. Go out and have a drink. You know, I think something. a key to the Twitch schedule is going to be having multiple people do it. You know, me, yeah. you, adding pun in, like you said, for Dota, and also getting some sort of computer game where you can actually play it outside or something. You know, it's yeah. anything where like you can do multiple things. Because it's kind of annoying that we can't do multiple. We if we got to figure out a way if there's going to be multiple camera because I would love to play Magic. Yeah, that would be cool. On here, um, we were gonna, we were, gonna try, we were initially trying to figure out some way to do like if you guys ever seen World Series of Poker, we were gonna do multi camera like World Series of Poker style magic, so you guys could see our hands, right. shit like that. But I uh, mean, we could definitely do it for YouTube. I don't know about Twitch though, like recording it yeah. and then putting it together. But I don't know we're trying, we're working things and trying to figure out schedule is really hard. I'm trying to figure out what games to play, it's tough. But uh, life we'll, isn't all I thought it would be. No, nah, I, th- I think I think we'll get it eventually. <laughs> I just I'm just I'm working on it. I'm just not like any kind of rush. And, uh, We're on it someday. Yeah. someday and I want to buy another Xbox One because I do not want to move my Xbox One into this room. My Xbox One is such a key part of my bedroom. Situation. It's everything you do, right? Yeah, so everything. Netflix, everything. Your HBO ev- Go, your YouTube. Everything goes through my Xbox One. <laughs> I could even replace like my Chromecast because like you can just shoot shit for, if you're watching YouTube on your phone or you just want to you watch YouTube on your your Xbox. You can just use your phone and right. just shoot it there and it works. I never use my Amazon Fire Stick. I think I will. I, never, if I have I two had... Chromecasts. I haven't used since I really got my Xbox One. Yeah. I guess if I had like a separate TV and I use most of it in the living room, then one in the bedroom, then it would be useful. But uh, I don't right now, so yeah, I just, just don't, don't use it. Shit, and I, I 
I really love the Xbox One. All the media, sh- all the pro, oh, yeah, all the media shit it does is so good. Now we've talked about this before, but if you you you've been a person that's wanted to be a cord cutter for a long time, yeah. Now if you could get the like free HD uh, HD TV tuner for the Xbox, and if they do release the DVR thing later this year for the Xbox, where you could actually use your I don't hard think, drive as are, a, are U.S. people eligible for the free? You can you can get an HD. I think you have to buy it. Though. You have to buy an adapter for the Xbox. Oh, okay, but you know, but like I mean, the HD tuner you're only going to get like the basic channels, but that's pretty good for sports. Well, you know, when, you can get most I, football when games. When I cut my and, cord last year, I was still getting like 20 channels just by plugging my old right cable and thing in there. So if but you I, if you did that, you could then um, you could then. Uh, you know, you'd have DVR, and then obviously you'd still have Netflix and HBO Go yeah, what and all I was, that shit. What I was considering doing was using Sling TV, which is yeah. twenty bucks a month. And you get like ESPN, a bunch of other channels, but you have to buy the uh, Rabbit, the HD Rabbit ears for that. Mm-hmm. And now that my biggest now that place or now that Xbox is adding the DVR feature is kind of cool. Yeah, my my biggest problem with Sling TV is all I want out of that package is ESPN yeah. because ultimately I'm only going to watch sports. If I watch TV shows, it's going to be on HBO go. Um, and if it's anything else, uh, it's going to be, I don't even know. I don't really watch anything on like basic cable, well, that's, <laughs> but I watch sports. So I need CBS, Fox, NBC, ESPN, yeah. et cetera. Well, my problem is like just sports is such a problem for me. Cause like dolphins, I can't get dolphins games unless I use Sunday ticket. Mm-hmm. And then I, I don't know about you, and I know you watch a lot too, but I watch just about every, because I don't really watch anything on TV, I watch just about every Rangers game that's on. Yeah, it's like nice I'll to watch, have, like, background, what, like, I don't how many I do you, watch. How many do they play a year, 80? 80 something. I probably watch 60. Yeah. 60 games a year. Yeah, I, I have, every, when there's a Rangers game on, like, I'm always on my laptop. Yeah, on my laptop. I mean, I'm not always, like, right. paying, like, so I put it on in the background. Paying attention yeah. to it, but it's always on. Yeah, absolutely. It's, so, it's super nice to have, like, his background noise, um, and you can kind of glance up and see plays, and... Yeah, I, if there was like a sp- like a sling sports, how f- sick would that It'd be? It'd be awesome. Get, like, but the problem is with us, I can, for there is no comparison online for NFL Sunday ticket. I couldn't do like the NHL Game Center. Yeah, well, my dad has NHL. What is that called? Yeah, but is you it? you don't need cable to do that. What I'm saying is like. You said you can't get an online. Yeah, TV. like I can't buy like an online version of Sunday Ticket. Like they so, ha- I they used to watch, have it. For... So I could just watch because I would pay two hundred bucks or whatever, so I can wa- watch it on my computer. They or... used to have it for PS3. The Sunday Ticket. Yeah. Okay. You could have it cord cut, but I don't know if I don't think they do it anymore. Also, it was dog shit. It was totally yeah. not working. But the problem was me, NH... me and Nick had to get a refund on it. The I problem think. with the NHL thing is they lock you in by region wherever your internet provider is. So right. I'm like Buffalo. So the Rangers games are gonna get blacked out. Yeah. It's like it doesn't it doesn't help me do anything. Yeah. So I don't know. The whole blackout thing is the dumbest thing ever. Like if I buy the NHL ticket or the NFL ticket, just show the fucking Jets game. Just show the fucking you know like show the Rangers game. It doesn't make yeah. any sense to me. Like I get they want people to go to the games or whatever, but that is such an antiquated thing where, like, well, also I think it's some sort of deal with like CBS. They want you to watch on there, but like show me the CBS broadcast on the ticket. Then I don't understand. Like, there's got to be a way to do it where they're getting paid the advertiser money. Whatever the whatever the reason for that is, um, there's got to be a way to make it work. You think so? Because that's the thing for me. Like, I I just want Red Zone because I'm a Jets fan and every Jets game is on, so I don't have to worry about that. And then when I'm not watching Jets games, I'm watching the Red Zone 95 yeah, percent of the what, time. Yeah, that's what I am. You know, because like you never miss a great like if there's a great game on, it's almost always on TV. Number one, so like if you really want to see if the Patriots or the Broncos are the two best teams, that game is almost always on yeah. regardless. And then uh, like I just like to watch Red Zone because you get to see all the best plays. There's very very few times where I say to myself, God, I wish I had a Sunday ticket so I could just watch this game. Now, if I was out of market, obviously I would get it in a heartbeat. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Like if uh, my my contract runs out in August. You can really like talk down Directv if you threaten to cancel, they'll give you some kind of deal. But yeah, like it's not even about the money anymore. It's just I don't like watch anything. Everything I watch is HBO Go or Netflix. There's a huge thread on the Jets forum every single year that says Directv deals, and it's people talking yeah. about how they call in and whatever. Well, the nice part is you're in this situation where you can literally, uh, you're not bluffing. Like yeah. you're can you'll cancel unless they do yeah, I mean, a certain amount of stuff. Yeah, I don't have to do anything. I, I don't know if Directv has like a cancellation fee if you do it early or not. 
don't know. Me either. I imagine that. Probably because you're getting f- stuff for free, too. Like, you know, you're signing up for a year, so they give you a Sunday ticket, whatever the hell you got last yeah. time. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I'm interested in Sling TV. Cord cutting is a very interesting thing. There's no perfect cutting, solution. Cord cutting, you can't get what you want, and eventually the fees just add up. It's like, I could just do what Chad has. Chad has the same internet I do, or I, I, I have, and then he has TV. And it's 100 bucks. Like, right. if I add, start adding Netflix, Hulu Plus, uh, HBO, what's it called now? Is that the new one? Yeah. Like, that's like $28 right there. $21. Right, right. You're already over $100, so I can just do what Chad's doing for $100. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like true. you really just can't, like, there's no, there's no, like, There's happy, no good way to yeah. do it. And the other problem is if you lose CBS and Fox and NBC and CBS, you lose, like, all the sports. Yeah. Um, But you can get a TV tune or whatever. There's ways around it. I mean, uh, there's also... Uh, iTunes sells the games. I could just do like a media blackout for a day. Right. But that's Dolphins. never, that's no, never going to happen. Uh, and we, still, doesn't, it still doesn't help me with. We can watch uh, football uh, games on Monday every day, every week. That would yeah. suck. And uh, it still doesn't help me with uh, NHL. Yeah. Yeah. I, there's no, if you guys know of a solution, let us know. Um, I know there's no great I mean, I solution, just, but. I can just stream them online. That's right. my solution. Right. Steal them. But that sucks too. Uh-huh. Um, and that's something I don't like to do. Like I like, I like to try to find the. If there's a way to pay for it and it's convenient, I like to do that. But yeah, if we had any sort of real competition in cable uh, or satellite, whatever you want to call it, TV, th- if there was some sort of a la carte system where you could pick the channels that you wanted, then that would be the most ideal thing ever and save money for doing that. Because like literally, we could just get like probably eight channels, maybe ten, and get everything that we need. Yeah, I mean, you know, MSG. NBC Sports, NBC, all if the If they basic wanted to channels. charge me forty five dollars a month for two channels, I would be happy. If I got the all, if I got MSG like all the MSG channels, like watch right. the Rangers games, and like the NBC Sports, NBC Sports things, and just the Dolphins channel, I'd be happy as shit. Like, yeah. and my I would still be saving like seventy five bucks a month. They'd be like, and they would be making money because I don't know. I don't understand why they don't work with you. If they would rather lose you than work with you. Yeah, I th- I think the idea is that. There's so few people that will go without any sort of television that they have no reason to to make that sort of move, you know. Yeah. I don't think there's really like it's such a minority of people who don't want Bravo and you know National Geographic and whatever uh, that they don't really care about the one percent of people who are literally drop TV before they pay that. By the way, I'm milking this because I'm so sad. I it's slammed gone. mine. It's gone. It's, it's, it's gone so a while ago. It's really like oh, whiskey sours. So, so good. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, cord it cutting sucks. I got nothing. It was so much easier before because like I love I love my Rangers, but I wasn't into them like the way I was. And I when I would I would be doing like stuff on my computer and I would just stream the game online. I would just steal it. It wasn't that big big of a deal. And then streaming the game though for hockey really sucks. It does suck because you but can't follow you, the puck. But when and... you don't have it and then and that's what you're doing. Yeah, I mean it's, it's not obviously that big, but, then, it's better but than now nothing. going from like HD back is it's a little it's a little harder to do. Yeah, it's really hard to follow. The, like even standard definition, like stretched. Uh, yeah. It's because they had it. Because Time Warner blows. There was for some reason the MSG after the game um, said sign off, and it was standard definition, even though it was immediately after the game. And I tried to stretch it with high def. I couldn't find the fucking puck. It's amazing, like how the, h- hockey is just a hundred percent. Hockey and golf are probably the two sports that like you absolutely need high def to watch them. You know. Yeah, and they're enjoyable in high def. Right, it adds a lot. I to love it. Uh, golf. is so it's so pretty to watch. Yeah, like, golf is horrible in like standard the, definition. The greens are amazing. Right, because half the reason you're watching is to, you know like the scenery to see Augusta to see all those places. Um, well, Ricky Fowler. Yeah, I saw that. I thought he held, handled himself really classy. I liked it. Yeah, because uh, I'm not usually the biggest fan of him, but uh, he was very classy. I love that. Uh, the bigger story than him winning was his girlfriend. Oh yeah, <laughs> that fucking what do they call that halter top or something? That... Uh, just, just she had, cut off yeah she, she had she had like the it's like the, like the straps on the shoulders yeah. are down on her arms and then she had the daisy dukes on she was bouncing i could i, I got a little bit like... of a feeling that she was really happy to be on tv though which makes she, me worry she for was Ricky wearing Fowler. those big glasses so it makes me assume she was ugly did you ever see that like girls that have like good looking hair great body like the yeah, face the, is okay absolutely. until the glasses come off and then like it's just like what the fuck? That's absolutely true. I highly doubt that's the case with Ricky Fowler. No, because he's, he's, he's Ricky. Because he's Ricky Fowler. Yeah. Also, uh, I think she was a bikini model or something. So there's that. 
fucking Ricky. How close? How close to Shaq does you think Ricky is? Probably. Is Ricky, is Ricky closer to YMCA boys or Shaq? Oof, is? Way closer to YMCA. I mean, it's not even. That's not even. A, that's not even a question. Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah. Let me segue out of this. Uh, yeah, so what, what else are we doing other than cord cutting? Um, I don't know. I've been continuing uh, Broken Age Part 2, which I still really, really enjoy. I like it a lot better than the first part, uh, and I really enjoy the first part. There's a couple puzzles that are really hard. It's so funny, though. You can't win. Like People bitch so hard about how Part 1 was too easy, and now all I see is like how Part 2 is too, too hard. <laughs> you know? Uh, Developers will never fucking win anything. You, One thing we've learned about this pod, or doing this podcast is people just like getting more involved with everything yeah people bitch about everything yeah and people don't even think like when they comment on something like they'll make these sweeping generalizations and they don't even you just tell like that person's so stupid and they're making this like sweeping generalization not i'm just not talking about this case i'm talking about comment sections in general um and you know they'll just say something and you're just like then you you feel the need i don't because i don't even i don't even create logins for these comment sections because i don't want to be tempted to get involved but somebody i do and somebody else feels the need to like correct this person when it's like they're so obviously wrong that you shouldn't even give them the time of day but you can't help it because it's so stupid you know it's like today when the black bear was loose in the neighborhood and somebody commented on the post this is what happens when we destroy their habitats by and something they were like well, they, did you see it? It said something like... I didn't look at the comments. It was like, well, first of all, we live in an area that's been built for like the last 200 years. Nothing really's changed. Right. Like, there, there's there, no... There's more woods there's, than there are there's, buildings there's around no here. There's no new houses being built right. in this like our city. This is fucking Long Island. What are they talking about? And they're saying like, this is what happens when you destroy their habitat and we did this to the Indians, so we might as well do it to the bears too or something. I'm like, you really went from wow. like... They pulled in the Indians. Wow. Yeah. Like, the Indians have been that's dead. That's The Indians stupid. have been dead for like a thousand years. Like, you wow. know... You, you claim you're part Indian. I'm part Indian. Bullshit. That's what everybody says when they want to get to college. That's why I got this tan. <laughs> Speaking of comments. Oh. Okay. You know how we used to have a comment? Um, Commenter Seabag? Yeah. Or I think we changed the name like six times. But... Yeah, because we, we don't let people on to what it really meant. <laughs> this is great. Uh, so there was I went down a rabbit hole of YouTube oh, where... Well, um, found you end up at Grizzly Bear Attacks? No. No one ever ends up at Grizzly Bear I Attacks. Went, I ended up today... Watching an elephant stampede people at a circus, and then they shot nice. it like a thousand times next to a parked car, and it was fucked up. That's fucked up. Yeah, I don't watch that shit. Don't ever watch it. But uh, it was it was a YouTube video. It was really stupid. It was um, it was an eight bit burn. This guy. <laughs> it was eight bit burn. Let's play. It was a guy doing like a like a holding his camera like a video selfie, and he was taking shit and throwing it behind his shoulder and like making it in cups or like. Oh yeah, that, that video was cool. Yeah, well, there's a there's a bunch of them. Did that you see compete. the one with shit, the kid throws the the. DVD into the yes. DVD. That's fucking nuts. Like, I, I, thought, I saw that and was like, that's gotta be fake, but it doesn't look fake. It looks I, real. Well, that's what I thought too, but how do you fake bounce a fucking disc? I don't know. It looked it looked real. Like, I could, the other ones I thought were like, well, that's kind of bullshit. Yeah. But that disc, that disc thing, yeah. I said, wow. Uh, but anyway, so, the, so one of the things that he did was he took a plate and he threw it over his shoulder and it landed in the dishwasher, dishwasher. and then popped up and, and went in. <laughs> and one of the, this is what I love about YouTube because they compress their comments and they don't show the first one, the first response to a yeah. comment. So like they'll have the lead comment and then a bunch of replies, but they won't show the first one. They'll just show one of the middle ones that maybe gets the most stuff or I, I don't know how they, the algorithm works, but so you always like see like, and you have no idea what's going on above it. So this one girl, Sophia Liao, she says, how the fuck did that plate not break? Because it was crazy. They threw the plate over the head, landed in the dishwasher. It was crazy. And the first comment that I see under that is, I seriously doubt you're a Muslim. Must be a disgusting, jealous Hindu posing as Muslim. <laughs> it's like, this is a fucking video about a guy throwing a plate, or, you know, throwing shit over his shoulder. Um, and, and obviously this guy's responding to somebody else above. Yeah. But, like, how... I didn't even look because I didn't want to know. How the fuck did... This girl saying, how did that plate not break? Turned into, I seriously tell you, Muslim must be a disgusting, jealous Hindu. What the fuck is wrong with people? How does it go to a religion war off of innocent YouTube video? I don't know, man. It's crazy. I guess it's just like, I, I don't know. And then somebody else gets into it, dickhead, and it's just amazing. You see, but the best part is, I still don't know how it happened because I refuse to click on view all 16 replies because I don't want to know. You should do it right there. I can't. It's a screenshot. Know, <laughs> okay. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, did you see that? That uh, speaking of the stupid YouTube video, it's a double bicycle kick no. goal. This fucking kid, there was like a bad cross, and he just tries. 
He just bikes it back into the group, and another kid bikes it off of his bike. Wow. And then the best thing, the kid that made the bike just runs past the kid to set him up with the bike. He just runs by him. Like, the kid runs over to, like, like grab him and celebrate, and he just runs right by him. Yeah, like, that's what always cocks up. I hate that. Like, that's football. Like, happens you always a lot go too. to a, You always go to the person who gives you this assist. Yeah. If that happens all the time in soccer, where, like, somebody will, like, beat three people and tap it right, and the guy will just have to literally, like, tap it in the goal. And yeah. then he runs the opposite direction of his whole team and makes everybody chase him down. It's like, you didn't fucking do anything. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you know? like, it's like a running back that follows the lead blocker and <laughs> right. just kills it doesn't one get, guy, and then guy it doesn't get touched. He walks into the end zone. I always my shit. my favorite running backs are the ones that well I don't even think you could do that this anymore with the no fun league but they used to throw it to one of their offensive linemen and they would spike it. There's a yeah. few running backs that used to do that. Uh, yeah, because sometimes a running back will beat six people and it's nasty. But like literally, sometimes it'll be a goal line run and there's like a, a greyhound sized hole and the guy just like walks into the end zone and shack, spikes shack it. Shack this size hole. Yeah, exactly. Takes his dick out. All that stuff. All that jazz. Uh, what else you been doing? Uh, well, we've been twitching a little bit. You know what? I was playing retro today, games. I don't think I like retro games as much as I thought I would. Yeah, I don't I mean, know. I enjoy them. Like I, I enjoy some, but it's like we only play them for like an hour, and then I just never want to fucking touch them again. Yeah, yeah. I think. Well, I think like, we should we, be more selective we, with our retro games, probably. Yeah, but what ones are fun? You know, um, like we, I mean, we played the worst game I've ever played in that X Men. That was the worst game NES I've ever game. seen. It yeah, is the worst really game bad. I've ever seen. I, I'm pretty sure I can code that game. I, I'm pretty sure. You don't. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't no. have like a life bar. It you're is. picking up power ups that don't you can't use. It's awful. <laughs> I can't believe that they were able to sell that game. It's fucking stupid. But the box art is fucking really cool. Yeah. Um. I, I think that you know. We, I don't know. It, de- it's it depends. Just, what you, I mean, it depends what you want to twitch too. I mean, yeah, you could get a link to the past, but do you want to twitch that for thirty hours? Yeah. Um, you could get Mario's and shit, but that's over twitched. No, I like. Uh, I enjoy like, like Battletoads vs. Double Dragon was a great twitch. People really having fun. Yeah, with but that. the game fucking sucks. Oh, I, I agree. This, but I want something that's. I don't give a shit. about But it was the, it was a great twitch. I don't though. give a shit about the people yeah. watching us. I want to have fun when I'm playing. Like that game is uh, fucking terrible. I would say we should get Contra. I think that would be yeah. awesome. Or Star Fox. We've had a blast with Punch Out and Super Punch was Out. Was the Star Fox on NES? That was pretty good, right? I don't know. I don't know if I ever played it. Yeah, you did. Did I? I think you gave it to me. I might have it somewhere. On Super NES? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did I, I say NES? That. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's, a, that's a good game. I feel like that one gets forgotten because of how good uh, the N64 one was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but Punch but Out and Super Punch Out. We'll be playing Super that Punch for, Out for a year, probably. Super Punch Out is one of my top 20 favorite games of all time even though i suck at it i just love the way it plays i love the way it looks it's so good um but battletoads versus double dragon that was a big one we started playing last week it's so bad it sucks there's some hilarious moments but boy does like it when suck. you're beating up the women and shit and are just like jamming <laughs> people ridiculous. shoving like... people in the ground with that fucking stick that's pretty funny yeah but then there's like levels you can't see in front. You, that fucking right. that rope shit is and they try to do dumb. like really like fast movements and it just doesn't work yeah. because the game doesn't move fast enough you know what I mean and like the graphics can't even keep up and it's like why and it's like the it's like the speeder part from that the Star Wars games it's well, like at least why they, did you put that in it's <laughs> unplayable yeah. at least they made the speeder part uh, easier yeah right but Battle still Tales. like those games are so flawed like who they never thought like the zoom out Maybe uh, yeah, like those right. parts to like help you out or I know like, like you're going like down they, the wall and like you can't see what's coming up like uh and it's just like shit's just destroying you and you're like what am I like, what the we fuck playing, am I supposed to do we were about playing that? Indiana Jones and you have to run away from the rock yeah, and you that, can't see in front that's of you that's one of the worst op- design levels I've ever like, seen it's like the speeder bike thing yeah. you can't see in front of you it's like it, this could be a lot of fun zoom it out a little bit and make you can make like you can have like ropes that you can jump and yeah. swing jump that was you know? so weird you you, you can literally... be more creative with it they're just like well fuck it we'll just make it hard so nobody can ever beat the yeah. first two levels literally to stay away from the boulder you have to be at the exact front of the screen yeah. and so you're literally just guessing when you have to jump because there's all sorts of traps that's the whole point and you're like what the fuck and like I-, I was playing that and i was like this is the dumbest thing i've ever seen and the thing obviously is, we were like, force saving or whatever so it was a little bit better could you imagine if we got there and you had to do that every time and just guess and then when you lost you had to go back to the beginning of the yeah, game like, like i think i think the gameplay in that I, I enjoy the like the actual gameplay better than the star wars games i thought i think the Indiana jones game is really fun mm-hmm. but that part fucking sucks it makes me never want to play the game again and it's the same way with battletoads like when you're running and like something will just like pound you through the ground because there's no tell of where those like yeah the, right what, what they call them in uh mario Thwomps. Uh, thwomps. Yeah, it's yeah. like a thwomp. It, it looks, and, it looks kind of like a garlic grinder. Yeah, and you have no idea where they are, and they just fucking hit you. So then you have to die, and then come back and try to remember where they are. Like that's not yeah. good game design. No, it's not. Like I'm not saying I need my hand being held, but like, 
change up maybe the way it looks. You don't have to show me that it's right there, but maybe change like the tiles or do something. It's because it's just fucking cheap. You're just walking around, and that thing just hits you. Yeah. So, um, fuck off. I'm still trying to think of games that we want. Aladdin, maybe. Yeah, I think Aladdin would be good. Um, Castlevania. Yeah. Um, we should get the. I've never played uh, the DS ones. We should buy those. Well, yeah, that's a good idea. Wait, or DS, the, just DS work? No, game, only Game Boy Advance works in this. Is yeah, that what you meant? The Game okay. Boy Advance ones. Yeah, was yeah, that that's Symphony right. Symphony of the Night. Symphony of the Night was for PlayStation. Did they make a remake for? Yeah, I think they did. I think okay. it might be out. Yeah, that that might be the best Castlevania. So that would be cool. Um, also, well, let's might as well do a little segue there. The, but also, uh, we could also probably download them on the Virtual Console as well. That's true. No, we can't. Uh, we can't use YouTube videos of that. Yeah, you can. Can we? How the fuck are they gonna know we're not pl- playing it on the fucking Retro Five? Ah, that's a good point. Um. And then, uh, just a quick segue, did you see that the Castlevania Symphony Night creator had the Kickstarter yeah. for Bloodstain, and it got, a... it got funded in, like, 30 minutes, like, uh, like, a few hours or something? Fucking, uh, kind of funny guys had him for, like, that announcement, I believe. That's fucking huge oh, yeah. by that. It looks awesome. Did you see, like, the little, just, I think they just have, like, screen. You know, I wasn't, I don't think the artwork is horrible, I wasn't sold on it. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it looks awesome. I think it looks like a new-age Castlevania, like, true to the roots, but high def. Um, after playing, like, Ori and guacamelee stuff like that i'm not the biggest metroidvania style gamer oh, i love metroidvania like i i really like ori is by far my favorite game of the year so far but i don't think i could keep playing like if somebody was like here here's three of those in a row i don't think i'd want to do it like i understood like in his kickstarter campaign he's talking about he says uh publishers keep telling me that nobody no gamers want to play these games anymore and he's like i think that's not true i think there's gamers out there that do want to play these but I think I'm one of those gamers that don't want to play those games. Yeah, I mean, you're talking to a guy whose second favorite game ever is probably Super Metroid, so yeah, I'm, like, I'm all I'm all about it. I think back in the day, um, I mean, like playing those games when they didn't exist, but I don't want. Even so, I, I, don't I want played um, those. Like Axiom Verge look awesome, yeah. but after playing Ori, I didn't want to play it. Yeah, yeah, I, I've always liked those games. I mean, even um, I played the Metroids for Game Boy Advanced, which were awesome, really good. Uh, they were, I can't remember what they were called, but few something fusion something whatever um i can't i i love that kind of game it's like adventure it's like 2d adventure games that's kind of what it feels like but i mean obviously you can get tired of any genre if yeah. you play it enough times in a row but, but I, that yeah, one, for I, some I, reason that one just burns me out quicker than others yeah i would rather get that than but then i'll go fucking axiom verge then i'll go fucking turn up rocks and skyrim for 400 hours yeah, that's what i'm saying I, it's, it's just, just weird it's weird how that shit it's not your genre yeah. uh it's definitely in my kind of genre though yeah, i love those games yeah. It's not something I hate, but I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to see it when it comes out. It looks cool. I hope Mega Man's good too. Well, what, uh, whatever the hell Mighty it's called, was it Mighty Number Nine? Mighty Number Nine. Yeah, yeah, I guess the guy is developing that. What's the name of the game? The Bloodstain. Bloodstain. Yeah, that the um, Infune or Infune or whatever his name is. It said the developer of um, Mega Man Nine and. Mighty Number no. Nine is developing this game with. So him. he's working on it with him. That's with cool. Him, yeah. So um, that's very cool. Yeah, that sounds neat. It was cool. I actually saw a little bit of that playthrough of uh, Blood of Symphony of the Night with the guy who created it. Was and, that a kind of funny stream? Uh, I don't know if it was. It. I feel like it must have been. Must I guess. Been. I think they had him like all weekend. Or yeah, whatever. but either way, like that game, like the nostalgia from seeing that that game was fucking great. Yeah. Dude. Like, re- and like, was that the first it, time Alucard appeared? I don't know. That was like Dracula's son. They just spelled the yeah. name backwards. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Is that? I don't know. I I'm so, I don't remember the lore at all. But um, <coughs> I would love to get schooled in like the Castlevania like history because I th- I think those games are cool games. Yeah, I, I think that th- that's the kind of game like Castlevania sixty four um, is like one of my all time favorite games. That's the kind of game that totally. <laughs> game, that game sucks. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a terrible <laughs> game. That's the kind of game that totally um like lives up to the history though like when you play super punch out you're like these graphics are good yeah. castlevania the same thing i think it what was it was it was it playstation it was originally released for no i think it was or was it was, I think was it was, super nintendo i think it was nintendo was super, it that yeah, old super nintendo, yeah. maybe they remade it for it. either way like uh, watching him i don't play remember through ever it, playing it looked oh, really i never good. had a playstation but i don't remember ever being like a playstation game yeah I, I don't remember which games i mean there was like a ton of that was konami games. right yeah when konami was at his best yeah back when konami didn't just make um Nothing. grocery items or whatever the hell they do Just now they make like fitness machines and fitness and, machines uh, oh that's they make ga- slot machines and, like gambling apps or whatever yeah god bless them fucking mineral water yeah so um, moving on from that let's take a quick break okay i need a drink getting a little bit of news what do you say 
Let's instead of rambling about do, nothing. Let's do some... I like rambling about I nothing. I do, too. Let's uh, do some fucking news, man. All right, let's do it. I'm drinking a beer. Sorry. Did you pour one beer in there and then get a backup yeah, beer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just confused. I'm not afraid. I didn't know what was going on I gotta on drink there. this one fast so that one doesn't get cold. It's. I think that's a great idea, especially with this air conditioner off. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so Splatoon. You never played it, right? Nope. I downloaded it. Yeah, I thought about it and then I didn't. Um, I'm not good at those betas when they tell me like it's be there, be somewhere at a certain time. Yeah. Don't and, tr- don't <clears throat> rant on me. And also, they're all in Pacific time, and I don't know how to do math, so I couldn't figure it out. It's very common. It's a one lot of calculus. One was like one to one to two in the morning Pacific Standard Time. I was like, that's fucking what, like four o'clock mm-hmm. in the morning for us. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna wake up and play Spl- Splatoon like that. Maybe you should have. I think they're doing like three betas though, so I think they're to... over. I they, think... That's probably. I thought true, they were like the eighth, ninth, and the tenth. That's very possible. But I'm sure they had like one time zone for everyone that was. No, not that email. Like I had three times. One there was one hour in each separate day. No, I'm saying though, I I bet you the times were different, so that like one yeah, day they were, East Coast but they're people all could fucked. play. They're one, all fucked though. T- one day West Coast people can play whatever. Fucking East Coast haters, bullshit. Uh, but the biggest thing I have on this is there's a lot of backlash in the internet about the fact that Nintendo doesn't su- well, I shouldn't say Nintendo that Splatoon doesn't support voice chat hey. in the game. I support this move. Do you care? No, I'll never play Splatoon. But you know what I'm saying. I mean, neither will I. I just but don't. Want, I don't. Did. You know, I honestly don't want some 12 year old to call me a boogerhead or something. See, I I, I or see a fart face. I see both sides of this argument though. Here's one problem: you can't even talk with your friends. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, but they're mean too. Here's the other. That's true. Here's the other thing: is that like it's a game that has a lot of strategy to it. Well, so, Andy, I don't know if you know this about me, but I like to play strategy games cut off from my team. <laughs> yeah. So we just all kind of do what our own we own what we want to do. Nobody has any idea what's going on. It's my favorite way to play games. It makes yeah. perfect sense. I'm 100 percent behind this move. Yeah. So you're gonna lose a lot. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, like well, first of all, I would, it's fucking stupid. Why would they not give you team chat? This is because you probably because there's no fucking. Is there even voice chat? I don't even know in if there any Wii U games. I'm not sure. I I don't own any. That I mean, this it. is like this is like fucking like prehistoric shit like I was just be, I, obviously if you couldn't tell I was yeah. being sarcastic the entire time because the thing is it's, this is ultimately it's you can horrible. opt out of it or what, opt into what it or we, whatever what do we do every time we play NHL they give you a mute button right off the right. bat we, we don't like we're gonna be yelling the whole time we don't want people to get mad at us for yelling and talking to each other because we use my connects we right because mute- we're playing we multiple do people do a mutual move a mutual move. A mutual move. A mutual Call it a move. day. And it's over. Like you don't. There's no problems. Like every now and then we'll forget. And some sometimes people talk shit, but sometimes they don't. And you know what? Most of the time it's little fucking kids that talk most shit. Yeah, that's also true. Uh, yeah, I mean, but it does. I don't get a fucking upset or like. Yeah, I, I just I just feel like it's like Nintendo. It's like they think they know better than us, or maybe they can't do it because their online all, infrastructure really also, sucks. I f- the way I feel about Nintendo games, I feel like it's not little kids going out and buying these games. If you have a Wii U, you're like a hard, you're kind of like a hardcore gamer. You're paying attention to what Nintendo's doing and following Nintendo. If I asked the little kid on the street what system you have, he'd probably say an Xbox or a PS- yeah. PS4. Yeah, I, if I, I asked him what the next like big title for Wii U would, Wii U was, he probably wouldn't mean fucking. Yeah, it'd be interesting to is. see what the age breakdown is of the systems. Um, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's like you're taking choices away from your consumer for some flimsy ass reason of like. It's got to be just because they can't do it. Yeah, I think that's. I think they're not. They would never say that. I think that's a big part of it. Is that they're they're probably worried about it just working. I mean, Smash Brothers sucked online. I don't even know if it still does because they removed our twitching rights, so we or our YouTube rights, so we t- basically stopped playing Wii U. But yeah, fuck them. Um, but yeah, it's just like, it's just like it's so frustrating from Nintendo. Get with the times, man. You have to have voice chat because again. Like, if me and you and Pawn and whoever, like, if we went in to play Splatoon, we couldn't even talk to each other. You well, know how long I would play a game that was, like, strategy-oriented like that, where I couldn't speak well, to my friends? If, I would just be, like, the first five games, we'd be, like, uh, we couldn't even talk to each other between games. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, well, at least if you're not going to do that, if you're not going to give me voice chat, you have to give, like, a breakthrough, innovative way to quickly get a message across to your team. Like, with, like, shortcuts or, like, the way Halo right. 5 does, like... Your uh, Spartans talk for you, stuff like that. You need to be doing that, and there's no way they're doing that. No, they're no, no. way. Like when you start painting a sector or whatever you're doing, you say I got the sector, and like if there's an enemy near you, it says I'm in this sector, and this guy's doing this. 
with yeah. me. Like, that would be great for them, but there's no way they're fucking doing that. Yeah. I mean, it reminds me of Mario Kart. When I got Mario Kart, I was like, oh, this is awesome. I can actually play Mario Kart online, and it works because I had never had I don't even know what a, the Wii uh, one, I think, a Wii or a Wii U headset looks like. I've never seen I that. I don't even know if they exist, but um, they probably do. But yeah, so I was playing Mario Kart, and I remember I was playing like the first couple games, and Mario Kart 8, it's a very cool game, and I liked it. But at something like maybe like my third game playing, I just was thinking like this sucks, and I couldn't figure out why. And then I was like, you know what? It just feels like I'm playing fucking single player because I can't interact with these people at all, and it might as well just be a bunch of computer characters. And I like even when I would win a race, I'd be like, I don't have any like not that I want to talk shit, but like I want to know that there's actual people out there that I'm beating, and not just like it just takes away all of the. Uh, depth to online gaming it's very bizarre i, I can't explain I, it but like it just felt like why you play online when i could just play the single player that's what it felt it's like it's dumb and splatoon is the difference between mario kart well mario kart's a pretty good example but splatoon and like uh smash brothers is they are made to be played online like splatoon i don't even know if it has a single player but if it does it's gonna suck compared to playing online it's it's a it's a team fortress type game you mm-hmm. need to play it online so imagine team fortress if you couldn't talk to people It'd be half as th- a third as I mean, popular. I mean, any multi game, like even if you, even if you don't, I mean, if even if you don't want to talk to somebody, you should their option to ha- like that you can do it. It should always be there. Yeah, especially with your friends. Again, like, what if you just want to talk with your friends when you play? You can't like, I understand. Like, when I I played enough Call of Duty to see like, because when you start a game up, you can see like the little mic chat thing, and people have their headphones plugged in, or whatever the mic plugged in. A lot, of, a lot of times there's people in there that don't play, they don't talk, they don't do anything, which is fine. But if people really yeah. want to play this game together, like with your friends, because those people don't have any friends, obviously, um, you're going to need voice chat. Yeah, if you're worried about offending people, don't, number one, don't I don't be like, right, number one, I don't like the fact that they're thinking for us. But how about in the first thing, you know, are, are you 18? Well, just, and, if, and if you hit no, then they turn voice chat off. And if that was the case then whatever happens after that is not your problem. You well, I know? just think nowadays people are so, like, strong and not insecure that, like, you can be mean to somebody and they can take it and they, like, yeah. they don't get butt hurt. But no. I just feel like... Obviously, that's not true because I'm just kidding because everybody gets butt hurt over everything. Yeah. But it's just, like, again, it's just, like, taking away consumer choice so that they can... It's stupid. You it's know, be- we, get, we get frustrated. We talk all the time about how horrible Xbox Live and PSN are with, like, little kids and racism and shit. But ultimately, those <laughs> games are more fun because you know you're playing real mm-hmm. people, and it's so much more fun when you beat someone that's didn't, doing that. I could be wrong, but didn't Mario for Wii U have voice chat? Like, mm-hmm. people... Super Mario World? No, the Super Mario Kart, or whatever it was called. Oh, Mario Kart. I could have sworn people were talking I don't know. shit to me. I, I've played it several times. I know, I, I don't think the Wii U... I don't think we, uh, Smash Brothers Wii U does. Yeah, I've, I've never, never even seen, I've like, never an option. heard someone speak. No, because when I was playing Mario Kart 8 online, there were just people, like, doing, like, the stupid... Uh, you, like you could pick like six things that yep. you could say, and they were all super lame. And one of them was a swastika. It was really weird. Yeah, like, I yeah. mean, like, and, and it was and it was good game, which was really <laughs> yeah. weird. That was the that was the symbol that came up. I don't know. Um, yeah, like, well, Nintendo's just so fucked. Like their their online shit is just so bad. Like, try try adding a friend on on uh, the Wii U. Yeah, and again, it's a it's fucking like, nightmare. They've got so much money. Go out, find um, find the you know the guy that is the. He, lead architect of Xbox Live or PSN and just hire them and just say make our online system work that well some programmer from fucking community college could probably do shit it can't be that fucking hard well I think it is pretty hard (laughs) but (laughs) 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 to be fair I mean uh, it's fucked up like the best way people the best I mean we should go pro in Splatoon we should just get a Skype channel or a Skype chat going up and just we'll cheat like that I know that's what that's what like when PC gaming was in its infancy and um you know, they had, like, the first unlimited phone plans for... Or, no, it wasn't even unlimited. It was, like, unlimited weekends. I would, you know, call my brother on my phone, and we'd play like that. It was such a huge yeah. advantage because not that many people were, were talking back then, you know? Or, like, when my internet went out, I used my uh, Verizon LTE to run my Xbox. Yeah, how'd that work? It worked fine. Yeah. I, it wasn't, like, great, like, streaming anything, but it was good enough to play. Yeah. Would you, you just did a Wi-Fi hotspot? Yeah. Yeah. Tethered it. Because I just added... There was, like, this program i actually i, think, I can't remember if i what they call it, rooted yeah i couldn't remember if they rooted it or if there was a program it's a program called well, Fo- fox Spy. it's really nice well you had a nexus right no oh, you oh did. i did have a nexus but they yeah. locked it they locked the verizon one all up yeah yeah i think yeah i don't know i said fuck you and then they threatened to kick you yeah off. then they sent me a nasty letter because i used like 20 gigs it was funny 
in like 48 hours. What do they say? If you continue to do that, we're going to... Uh, they said they were going to like cancel my service or suspend my service. Or you know, something. that's interesting. If I wanted to get out of my phone contract, could I just start using 30 gigs? I don't know how it works. <laughs> you know, because I have an unlimited plan. If I start using 30 gigs, could if, could they just be like, you know what? We're canceling your your thing. Maybe. That'd be I, awesome. It depends how pissed them, but they could also go for the route where they just slow you. They just fucking throttle you. Right. I mean, that's definitely Even though what I they think, would do. Didn't somebody make that illegal? Mm, that you can't know. throttle people anymore. Well, I know that net neutrality affects um, mobile, like, cell data, but uh, I don't know if that falls under it. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I don't know. Because they're really throttling all of your data, so they're not really selecting what they're throttling. Um, anyway. I can tell you, I'm still really digging straight talk. And yeah, I've got a nervous because I have to buy a new phone eventually. It's gonna be like six, seven hundred bucks. But yeah. all the all the money I've been saving and the fact that they bumped me up to five gigs unlimited high speed data now, which I'll never fucking use. I mean, the thing is with the six hundred dollar phone, you got to look at it. You got to yeah. do the math. I mean, if you were paying a hundred and five dollars this whole time, uh, you'd be paying fifty dollars, fifty five dollars extra a month. If you add that up over the months, you're saving money. Yeah. That's over two years. Like that's how you have to think of it. Um, Obviously, it hurts when you have to actually buy the phone, but you're still saving money because yeah. you're you're, you're ba- ultimately you're, with AT and T Verizon, you're paying like a thousand dollars for a seven hundred dollars phone. That's what you're doing. And I was I was having problems with my uh, my Nexus Five, but the update, the newest update, really helped it out. It was bad before, like the uh, X or Android Five Point Yeah, it was bad on my phone, really fucking bad. Yeah. Like the battery was bad, everything was just fucking terrible. But it seems to be a lot better now. I know you don't want to get it, but the um. What the hell is it called? The it was like the the hacker phone, you know, like the one. Oh, that was, the one one. You X. saw they they started selling the old one without the imitation system. The new one, yeah. I got the imitation a, system. I got um, remember that band we had on here? Uh, when we played their song. Yeah. I got my gave Mike my uh my invite. He bought he bought. Oh one. yeah, yeah. You can get one now though without it. So that's what three fifty. Um, yeah. I think if anything I would get right now, I really like that leather back um LG. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying it would be half the price of that. Is what I'm getting at. Yeah, but when yeah. when have I ever made a smart financial? Well, you're decision? just saying I don't want to spend seven hundred dollars. So well, I don't. I'll give you an it's alternative. Just hard, it's just hard to think about like when you have when I have to get a new phone because like when you're on a contract, you're like, oh, I get a new phone, and it's going to cost me like nothing. Right. Now it's me like my phone's fucked. I got to spend seven hundred dollars to get a new yeah. phone. I mean, I, I still really like the iPhone five, so I'll be interested to see what they do. Or the iPhone, what is this one? The six. Six. I'll be interested to see what they do with the seven. Yeah, I, it won't be the seven. I'm sure it'll just be the six plus or whatever. Because I'm at the point where I don't really ever do anything on my phone. Like I we used to be like a power user. Now I just text and stuff. I don't really need anything crazy. Yeah. It's weird I mean, how that. It's weird how that works. Like when I first got a smartphone, I was playing games, looking at all these apps, and it slowly kind of just dwindles back down to just web browsing, Reddit. Facebook, Instagram, and texting. Yeah, I mean, I think ultimately the the best thing for you to do. Um, I just want, I mean, well, the I biggest, want, the biggest I just want battery and a nice screen. That's all I care about. The biggest advantage that Android gives you is that you, there are so many cheap options for phones that are ninety percent as good as yeah. it's twice priced phones. So, like, I think if you're gonna, you know, you also you can get you know used phones and shit that it's um, not that big of a deal. Uh, yes, because if you get the OnePlus or if you get any sort of, you know, I don't know if they're. I think I could probably, I could probably program, build but... like a Moto X for like four or five hundred bucks. Yeah, people love the Moto X. I don't need anything crazy. I just want battery and a nice screen. That's really all yeah. I care about. I really would have. I considered... don't take pictures ever. I really would have considered the um, what is it, the the Droid Max or whatever on Verizon, just because to have a two day battery would have been amazing. Yeah. And apparently they don't they don't have like a really aggressive uh, Android. Um, you know, like scan yeah, it's not or bad, anything. Okay. So that would have been really because, like, imagine just imagine being able to use your phone literally all day and doing anything and never having to charge it in one day. And then nice. also, when you use it medium, you can use it for two days. Like that, I can't even consider that. You know, they, my phone has like pretty good battery life, but it's one day. You know, yeah. that it's one day and that's it. You're not gonna get any. You know, I'll wake up with. I mean, if 20%. I don't if I don't touch mine, do minimal stuff, it's easy. One yeah, day. of course. I think I've had most of had it was like twenty eight hours. Yeah, my, mine is pretty good. Like it'll last one day with pretty heavy use if I charge it to a hundred in the morning. But uh, I'm okay. really bad about that. I think too. my battery's not as good as it used to be. I mean, obviously they all die. Right. But I used to be able to go like if I had twenty eight percent, I would just wouldn't charge before bed. I'd wake up and it'd be twenty percent. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah the power saving options are really yeah. good now too. But the, I mean, the biggest problem with phones these days too is it's like, well, now you want a six, you know, you you want a five and a half inch screen, and you want it to be 1080p or more. It's like that uses a lot more battery. You know, uh, it's really hard keeping up with that. Um, since we're on phones, we'll, we weren't gonna do this, but we'll do it real quick. Nintendo came out and they said they're gonna have their first five uh, mobile games out by 2017. Mm-hmm. What do you think they're gonna be? Any guesses? Uh, I think one of them will be some sort of Mario Party spinoff. Yeah. Um, Online based. <laughs> I would say yes, except the fact that no, yeah, yes, I will say that because they're not making them. It's. it's you think it'll be like, uh, what's the right word? Like simultaneous online or no, something I think where it'll, you you do something. And I think it'll be it. like words with friends. Okay. No, no, it'll be online, but it'll be like. You do something. Well, you, you both don't need to be there at the same right, time. You right, you exit the app. Yeah, yeah. that. I mean, f- I don't even know if they're going to make a Mario Party app, but that would be what I would do if I was making a mobile Mario Party. It would be like, right, yeah. like words with friends and shit like that where you make a move and then you come back to it later. I don't. I honestly don't even have like a suggestion. I don't think they'll do anything like platforming. I, I hope they don't try to make... Like, I think they're too smart for that. I hope they don't try to make like a Mario. I mean, one of the obvious things that they should do is Dr. Mario. Yeah. You know, no, they don't want Tetris. They can bring back Yoshi. Yoshi was pretty sweet. Yeah, but egg, yeah, egg game. But yeah, any whatever, like any any Tetris ripoff would work pretty well on a phone. <laughs> um, it's gonna be really weird seeing Nintendo games on your fucking phone. Yeah, I mean, Mario RPG might work because it's really just touch. It's really like tap based. Uh, ultimately, pay to play. You run around a little bit. Free. Pay to play. I have no idea. I don't know. I, I don't can't. Know. I don't even want to consider the fact that they might do free. I think it's games. either going to be like pay to, or is free to play, free, free to, to play. play, but pay to play is kind of the same thing. Um, or Square Enix way too expensive model. Yeah, like well, they put Square Enix would put like Final Fantasy VII on there for like thirty seven dollars. Right. Like who the fuck would ever play thirty seven dollars for a fucking mobile game? Yeah, I mean it's tough because if you buy the same game on. Um, DS, it is thirty something dollars, but you also have controls on the, yeah. on the DS. So I, I think we talked about this last week, and I was talking about how it, it is frustrating though that because people are so cheap with mobile games for some reason, I'm that, really cheap with mobile games. That's that's why I'm one of the people. That's why we get the free to play games because people wouldn't spend ten dollars on a thirty five dollar game. It was like ninety nine cents or bust. So I think that the mobile developers got together and they're like people won't buy anything unless it's over a dollar. If I want to make a high quality game. We're gonna have to, and then they added in the in in app purchases and shit because look, literally, people would not buy a ten dollar game. I think the most I've ever spent on a game was for Papers Please, and I was like seven ninety nine, and I only bought it just because I thought we were gonna play it. And then we I've, never played I've it. bought a ten dollar game before. Never have. I just, um, I mean, it's not that I won't. I just have no. What was FTL? Oh, FTL may have been fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, uh, you've definitely bought ten. Maybe it was nine ninety nine. There's there's multiple ones that that were popular. But FTL's fucking. That, of course, I, I pay thirty bucks for that fucking. Game. But I'm, but that's what I'm saying is like yeah. mo- most people though won't won't purchase games like that. So that's why the free to play is all the craze. Um, it's the same I mean, thing. It's the same idea as getting straight talk. Like no one wants to do that because they like the feelies of getting a two hundred dollar phone, even though they're paying a thousand dollars for it. But like yeah. they don't. It's the same thing with free to play. It's like well, I, I instant gratification, what? and then I'll spend fifty dollars over the next month, and I, I won't even are, think about it. I think it. people are too snotty to do straight talk too. You think it's like track phone, like poor people? I don't like think drug it's. Phone. I don't think it's that as much as I think people. When they see the Walmart, like, like you think an eighteen-year-old would like want to be on a, like Walmart contract? I, I don't even think it's that. I think it's that people don't even know it exists yeah, because yeah. there's so much advertising. I think people say AT and T, Verizon. That was one of the best um, things. Like I knew about it, but I was so glad. Like you really pushed me towards it. I'm gonna pay forty-five bucks a month. It's crazy for yeah. five gigs high-speed online or. Like data. Yeah. When my contract runs out, I'm going to um, consider it. I guess it's awesome. I've, I mean, I've had one outage in in two years. It would last like yeah. two days. Because ultimately, it uses the. You well, it, know, wasn't, it wasn't like two days. But well, the was, thing is, too, before it felt like two days. Before you got it, um, they had just started the LTE program, so uh-huh. that was when I was like, "Now it's worth it." Because if you it's had really used 4G, great. that would be lame. I've never like had any problems with LTE or anything anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, had, LTE is fucking nightmare. I mean, and outages happen. It's just whatever. Be, yeah, uh, something. Recent yeah, I was worried because like when I my job at the time was like so phone based that I just didn't want to take the risk of because yeah, I didn't know any, if it was gonna work. You never know? really had any stability um, problems. Yeah, I wasn't too worried about. It. And I think the biggest problems that they used to have was like registering your phone and shit and like all that stuff they've really ironed out. Yeah. So, um 
Yeah, and there's other competitors too, but Straight Talk is really good for us because it runs on the AT and T network. It's uh, great. Yeah, it's it's so good. I feel like someone's gonna buy it up, buy it eventually, and then kill it. I don't know. I think AT and T makes money. What off of it. What do you think about that? We never talked about uh, Google Pie, Google Play. What the fuck was that thing called? It's kind of like Straight Talk competitor. I know what you're talking about. They have it in our area. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, but isn't it? Yeah, but they're it runs using on... Sprint and T-Mobile. Yeah. From our area. See, that's the problem. Fuck that. Yeah. Because Sprint sucks. Puns has serious problems. Yeah. T-Mobile are in. My brother used to be on T-Mobile. He couldn't get a T-Mobile's, phone call. T-Mobile. T-Mobile's great, except that it's not, not good here. around here, right? If if it was Sprint and T-Mobile and we had T-Mobile, and also, I, I don't think it's it. that much cheaper than Straight Talk. No, it's not. The only thing is they they uh, you see what they do with their their Nexus phones. They don't make you buy them outright. You can you can pay like ten bucks a month on them. Oh yeah, or yeah, they, yeah. You, you can like lease them or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it might not be. It might be more than ten bucks a month, but they don't make you like. I mean, you ultimately might be paying more eventually, but some people that see that like, you can have a six hundred dollar phone for ten right, bucks it's like a month. A phone. Yeah, they they they're more inclined to do that than right saving well, money and right now putting only, the money up front. It only works on the Nexus Six right now. Yes. Right, that was. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's cool. Uh, if we had T Mobile, I would definitely consider it. Um, and I have all that. I don't think it's that much cheaper though. It's like, it's like 40 bucks a month for two gigs and everything like unlimited. I pay 45 for five gigs. Yeah. Well, I think it's, I think it's, what is it? It's $30, I think for voice or for voice and text unlimited. And then you pay your gigs as you go. 10 bucks, like 10 bucks per gig. Something like, yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it was, I think it's like 10 bucks for two gigs or something, but still you're talking about like basically the same price. And if you use more, at least you have data with the other one. You got to pay more with and this straight one. talk. You get to pick the best provider in your area, right? Like AT and T was the best. Well, Verizon's pretty good, but AT and T. Um, I always forget that I'm on AT and T. AT and T is really good. It's good. It was not good. I I went to AT and T when the original iPhone came out because I wanted the original iPhone. Their LTE service and is it great. Was not that good. Uh, the AT and T. I feel like LTE is great. I feel like I get it in more places that I don't get. Like when we go in the mountains and shit, I feel like you get AT and T better than you yeah. do Verizon. Yeah, I think around here they're both great around here. AT and T yeah. Verizon, but like Sprint and T Mobile are terrible around here. So I've you really in, can't I've, go wrong. I, I've been in areas where like there's just no AT and T. Also, it's really you, weird. Also, when you got your phone, we didn't have. Uh, any LTE of either service, I think. No, I had it. Verizon I had, maybe hit I had like it, just. I had, I had it. I had it. Verizon that's what I was, did. That's what I was um, using my phone as a hotspot for. Oh yeah, right, right, right. But it wasn't everywhere. It was spotty. Like you could go places and it would disappear. And with AT and T, the difference is when you get four G, the the um or three G, whatever you want to call it, the the Verizon the Verizon non LTE sucks. Yeah, it's really bad. And the AT and T ones, not that bad. It's H- like it's like HSPA or HPSA. Or HSPA, I don't know. It's really I don't bad. know what's it's called, but it, it's, H- it's 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 three G yeah, or whatever. It was really like it was fast. like a joke. And AT and T, right? AT and T's was like two gigs down and half a gig up or something, which is totally serviceable for right. just about everything. So Splatoon. Oh no! Well, let's go more with. Hey, fuck thumbs. I got nothing. Fuck Splatoon. I got nothing else. Else. As Laura would say, uh, she likes it when I use my adjectives for fucking, uh, fucking sucks. Yeah. When I don't like something. And, uh, yeah, Splatoon, and you know, I wanted to do well. You're playing online game with no voice chat. Yeah. It's team just game. Fuck you're not you. even giving me the option. You're dead. Yeah. I hope you fucking burn in hell, you stupid bitch. It seems aggressive. Sorry. What the fuck was that? Should oh, I take yeah. the stupid back? Your neighbor's part. Um. Well, continuing with Nintendo, they just confirmed couple days ago there's going to be no nx and no mobile talk at e3 they're just going to talk about the 3ds and they're just going to talk about the wii u did they uh did they confirm the part when you and eric were wrong and i was right uh see see if you guys want to backtrack me and eric i destroyed adam you guys said it wasn't a console i said it was console and they're kind of Looking more and more like yeah. it's going to be a console. To, to be fair, uh, I, I was, said it was going to be announced at E3 or shown yeah. at E3. To be fair, I was pretty fucking drunk that night, and I remember listening back to that podcast going, Did I say it's not a console? <laughs> yeah, you and Eric both said yeah. it wasn't. I don't know if Eric did. I definitely did. No, Eric definitely did. Oh, he did too. Fuck yeah. Eric. No, I love you, Eric. Um, yeah. It's, it's, but the, it's really, they're being very I mean, vague it was, about it. I mean, they could be, I mean, I could be wrong still. Yeah. They're very, like, I don't think coy is the right word. Maybe. Yeah. But they're not very, like, I don't know. Well, what not I very direct. Yeah, because I remember that because I misread a story that said the mobile well, they, they platform. Call, they called it the next. They called it like a gaming platform. Right. I never so called I, it like a gaming. I console. thought what they said was that it was the mobile platform. Yeah. I thought that's what they were saying. But anyway, yeah, it's they're not going to talk about it because it's probably not going to be released till twenty seventeen. Which and it's is already confirmed that's going to suck. Yeah. <laughs> if if they had announced it 
at E3, I would have been shocked. Like, shocked. Yeah, I love I mean, I think I, what do I owe you? Take a risk. I owe you something. Because I'm I clearly was, wrong. I think it was 10 bucks. Was it 10? No. I was think it 10 so. bucks? I mean, that's okay. I think it was, I thought I was going to say it was a bottle of bourbon. So I'll, no, it's, that's I'll what it was. Like, no, that's what it no, was. You said 10 bucks. That's what it was. I said 10 bucks. You go, I'll fucking buy you a bottle of bourbon if you. <laughs> We'll I don't think anybody was sober we'll that wait, night. We'll have to wait till E3 because they might be bluffing. That's true. That's a good point. Um, that'd be amazing if they were bluffing. <laughs> but uh, so okay, so a couple things here. I mean, if, if they were going to release the NX in 2016, they've already confirmed it has no voice chat. No, no online <laughs> yeah, infrastructure no. whatsoever. <laughs> they're, they're going back to their roots. Yeah, if they were going to release it in 2016, it would have made sense to talk about it here. The problem is if the, if they're releasing it in 2017, which is obviously what they're doing. If they had talked about it at E3, that just instantly kills the Wii U. So they have to not mention yeah, it no, because that, no, that makes sense. they want to still sell Wii U. The other problem with this is, is like we've talked about how Zelda, it's possible that that could be an NX, like a co-release or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, but the, the problem is like now, like, okay, so let's say that you're sitting there in your Nintendo brain trust and you think the NX, assuming it's just like a standalone console, is going to be like sell like gangbusters. Are you gonna make the new Metroid for that? Or are you gonna or are you gonna make it for Wii U? So like, what's the lineup look like for Wii U? Why why like, would you not put your best programmers on the NX? If I'm that's pretty sure what I said for my my um my prediction was they would show off the NX with the new Zelda game. But if they're not showing that for another what year now? Yeah, I mean they'd have two to years? delay Zelda two years. Yeah, I'd, I mean if the, so I, that so that pretty much guarantees. Zelda will be out on this yeah. on this console. I could definitely see them releasing. So it what for would they show? I could definitely has, see them releasing it for both still Zelda. Um, but yeah, it seems like it has to be released. So you're thinking like an HD remake for pretty much, Xbox. or like a dual release. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's that not would be that would put back what Zelda another year. Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, it, it's going to be tough for them to do that. Um, it uh, wouldn't have to be an HD. I think yeah. it's going to be tough for them to do anything. I wouldn't be surprised if the mobile thing really took off. They just fucking canceled everything. Yeah. Said fuck it. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna sell fucking. What is it? What does Konami do? Slot uh, machines. Yeah, slot machines or whatever. Slot machines and gym, gym clothes. Yeah, I mean, I think gym the lube. I think the reason. Yeah, I think the reason Nintendo will always have a console-based system. I mean, they'll never. Well, give I up. hope they do. They'll never give up on their 3DS stuff because they dominate that market. Yeah. But um, those IPs like Mario and Zelda and Metroid, they. If you just went mobile, though that like your whole advantage in the mobile space is having those IPs. Those IPs get cheapened to death if you don't have if you're not releasing AAA games of them. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Like if you, once you play your fifth Mario slot machine game on mobile, you're like, why the fuck do I care about Mario if there was no Super Mario World getting released? Um, one rumor is they they might do a new Super Mario Galaxy. Be cool. Should be cool. Uh, why not go back to like they never really? I mean, I know the galaxies are kind of like spiritual successors of the of uh, Super Mario 64 kind of right yeah, they play see, behind they look yeah I think the Super Mario why not World... go back and try to just re rekindle that fucking fire yeah. well I think Super, I think that's kind of what Super Mario World was more than the galaxies I um, mean Super Mario Super Mario 64 has got to be coming up in like 20 years right yeah it's yeah. got to be close I, I hope they do a Super Mario World 2 rather than a galaxy Ooh. people love the galaxies I don't didn't do it for me I didn't like the small little planet design it was weird and, I did not really understand. That. Um, people swear by them. Like Super Mario think... Galaxy Two is some of people's favorite games ever, uh, and I didn't hate them, but I thought the Super Mario World was better. It could be a, but it could still be a cross. Like I feel you like mean they... Super Mario sixty four or Super Mario World World for oh, yeah. for Wii U. Uh, but I feel like they put so much work into oh, the multiplayer portion, all. which was like I don't really give a shit about that. Yeah. Like multiplayer being oh, we, like local. We talking about new Super Mario World. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what they call it, right? New. I don't know. Was new in the title? Probably. Okay. Yeah, I hope it's like that sequel rather than Galaxy Three, but whatever. Point is, do you? They'll probably re announce some sort of 3D Mario. That wouldn't be a surprise. Um, I just don't know. I mean, they, I don't know. I just don't know what they have left to fucking offer. Yeah, I mean, it's like they've already announced Zelda. Uh, they could definitely announce a Metroid. I mean, they, and they have Star Fox coming out supposedly this year, maybe yeah. this year. <laughs> I think it is. I mean, what gonna, big what big titles do you have left? Yeah, they're gonna have to show Star Fox. Um, they no, have I mean to... for like the new system. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah. Going to recook everything. I mean, that's that quickly. What, you know, that's what Nintendo does pretty much. Dude, uh, why would you buy it? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they would do this, but yeah, releasing a new Smash Brothers for the NX would be a pretty big system. <laughs> that guy, that, that guy takes fucking thirty years to build them. I know. I don't think they'll do it, but uh, or maybe just re-release that one with an actual online infrastructure where you can speak to people. That'd be great too. <laughs> Andy, don't. Be... I know. You crazy? I know. You crazy? 
Here, here's another thing. So the NX, they're calling a platform. They refuse to call it like uh, like I, a console. I think they finally did call it a console. I think that one thing they finally yeah. said was a gaming console. But regardless, like they won't say it's like a dedicated gaming thing in your living room. Like they, yeah. they keep being really nebulous on purpose. And I think a lot of people's thoughts, my first thought was, is it going to be some sort of, are they going to like combine the 3DS and the Wii U into like a new thing where you ha- you could play all of the games on a mobile thing as well as your console on your TV? Totally Which, I don't know, you know? I, I think know. They, I think Nintendo fucking sucks. Yeah, it's uh, it's just like you don't know what they're doing. You don't, and I don't feel like they know what they're doing. It's like you want them to be great, but they're not great, and yeah. they're gonna make some game that's gonna blow our minds at least for a little while. We're gonna love them again. And yeah, but I'm gonna, gonna buy. Something. I'm definitely gonna buy Zelda and regardless of how so, much it sucks. And they're gonna great. do something stupid. Yeah, I mean, the, to me, like. <laughs> They they feel I feel like their board of directors like they always feel like they have to do something like really smart like we have to do something crazy like the Wii U fucking this piece of shit gamepad uh, hey, which that which thing, which that thing's awesome like when they released the Wii U it was already barely uh, more powerful than the 360 and the PS3 that's not getting it done no, no. one's gonna buy that because they already have a 360 to ps3 like we've talked about before if you're first to market well, get... and you release a really powerful console because if you look at the wii and the wii u like when's the last time they released something and the 3ds they keep trying to do like these hardware gimmicks that redefine yeah. gaming well, when have they ever done that ever i got something for you if if uh say the next comes out next year i got one word for you steam boxes they've been gone for a while I know it's part of them. You're trying to say that they... I think Steambox will whoop the shit out of anything that Nintendo puts out. Oh, yeah? I mean... They could go head-to-head with it. People, I mean, kids nowadays, like, my cousins, they play shit on Steam. They have an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One, and they play the majority of the shit they play on Steam, because Steam can run... I mean, you don't need the greatest computer in the world to play a bunch of fucking $5.99 indie games. Yeah. Yeah. And it's they true. love them. They play like Goat Simulator. They play like DayZ. They do all yeah. this stuff. If you give them a Steam box, like a, a two ninety nine Steam box versus a three fifty Nintendo that they don't really know because they're between the ages of ten and eighteen, the Nintendo doesn't really mean anything to them. I think Steam box whoops shit up if a Steam box even exists anymore. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think about. I just wish that, like, as we've said a billion times in this podcast. Release a console that's more powerful than everything else, that has a legitimate controller that you put a shitload of time and effort into, and that's it. And rake in the money. Because if you did that, you could get Call of Duty, and you could get all of those other... Co- uh, you have they'll the never, best they'll software. Never, they'll never be able to get those games. Then We'll never see a day where you get th- three, um, one title across three systems again. But here's the thing. That'd be four now. Here's the thing. PC. I think you could if you were just... Yeah, but what, what, what does Nintendo have to offer that would make well, me want to he, but here's the thing if you were sane enough to make the wii u or the whatever the fucking <laughs> praying that the word wii is not in it the next. nx um if you if you just put like the xbox and the ps4 do if you just put like pc x86 architecture into it it makes it really easy to port those games if they make it with some bullshit dolphin processor they're not going to put the time and effort into it but if you can make it really easily um transferable and you could say, hey, we've got Call of Duty and we've got um, whatever, you know, whatever the big IPs are. And we've also got Mario and Zelda and shit. Then, the, you know, they, it just seems like they're like, they just, <coughs> they, it almost seems like that's too easy for them. So they refuse to like do the cheap yeah. route or something. Well, come, you know? well, for me, it comes down to the, like the infrastructure. I would never pick a Nintendo. If I wanted to play Call of Duty or something online, sure. I would never do it. I'd never... But that's but that's another thing that they would have I'm to not, do. I'm not saying I would be a buff to owning all three because I'll probably always, always, always. But that's, that's what they would have to do is they'd have to say, hey, we're going to make a really simple but powerful console and we're going to put a shitload of money into our online infrastructure. Because if you don't do both those things, you're right. You won't get the third party exclusives or third party. So whatever. say like, a, would, but why would Activision even bother putting anything on? Well, on if that? well, if Nintendo came out with a system but that, if, that was going to be a huge seller, then then they definitely would. You know, it's just a matter of, of sales, especially if they could port it with 10 percent of the work that it you know, or ninety percent of the work, whatever that it takes to do for another one, they all they have to do is do an easy port. Um, have we pointed out that you're drinking the champagne of beers? Yes, I think. Well, I don't know. It crashed once. I think I said it at least one of the recordings. It's delicious beer. Mm. Also, it's not saying very cold though. Bob Barker. Yeah, petting the dog. Still never 
never know why I got that picture in the mail, but I love it. <laughs> um, and also, power glove. See, this is what we're not supposed to do because no, people that are listening to the podcast right can't now, see shit. Click on these <laughs> for subscribe and uh, let's play. Uh, we apologize to click on Andy's, fa- click on Andy's face right now. To subscribe to the podcast. <laughs> Yeah, um, I can do anything I want in these videos. It's fun. Yeah. I kind of know what I'm doing on video editing every now and then. I was gonna say that for the end, but you know, click this banner for our Twitch. All right, our poor podcast that's not <laughs> video that that 95 percent of people listen to. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I, I I'm interested to see the NX. Like I always am. With what do you think it'll stuff. look like? You think it'll have a decent controller? Because I don't think it will. I hope I hope it does. But if they go with some sort of gimmick bullshit, then I don't know. I think if they said. We're just going to make a controller. Yeah, I think it would be a really when good controller. When was the last time Nintendo had a good controller? GameCube. You think the GameCube is good? I think it's good. Do you like the GameCube because it was good for Smash Brothers? Or do you like no. the GameCube well, you have, good you, with other you have games? to compare the GameCube controller to the controllers of that time. So the Xbox, original we, Xbox. Yeah, it's a pretty fucking good controller when you could when you, you consider so? it like that. Yeah, I um, mean, it, it, it's not as good for first-person shooters. I mean, I, always, I, I think it's way above uh, um, the first dual shock because i fucking yeah that. that's what i'm saying like dual shock dude like a, but i don't think i don't think any i don't i don't know for some developers i just think they never got the grasp of how to to map things to the gamecube controller yeah well i think it's classic nintendo it's like we you had to make your controller different the ergonomics of that thing are fucking awesome if they just made the rest of it a normal controller it would have been perfect but well, what were the um, xbox ones they were the, with the s controller and the it was just the original and the, the s and the birth of what would they call it? A Bertha? Big Mama? What, what was I think the, it was just the Xbox controller. No, think, what was the fat one called? I think it was just... Joey the, Fatone? I think it was just the Xbox controller. Well, I had a nickname. Oh, a nickname. I don't know. Joey Fatone. We'll go with Joey Fatone. We'll go with Joey. Yeah, that sounds good to me. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The fat guy in, in sync, his last name is spelled Fat One. That's tough. Like, that's fucking awesome. That's tough for him. I wonder if they changed his name just for that. I'm like... No. you think they would change it away from that. No, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I think if they put a bunch of R&D into an actual controller, I think it'd be great. I thought you were talking about Mother Boy Band. No. Um, I don't know. After using that power, the one what they call it, the Pro Controller? Yeah. I but, think Pro but Controller again, sucks. They, but they didn't put any money into that because yeah. the main controller is a fucking... That's what they put all their stupid R&D into is making a fucking touchscreen bullshit it's, instead of just making a nice controller. And that's the kind of stuff where it's like, why, motherfucker? Don't just... St- like, st- they don't even... The amazing part is they don't even support this thing. Like, there's none of their games really use it in any meaningful well, also, way. Also, it comes with the system. If you have a friend that has a Wii U and you have a Wii U, you can't bring that over and play on friend's Wii U. Spit it out, motherfucker. No, like you're saying, like, <laughs> that's, the, that's the main controller that yeah. the system comes with, but it doesn't work on any other right. system. And, and they, or anybody else's system, and they unless preach, they turn theirs off. They preach more than so anybody... Like yeah. local multiplayer where you sit together and you can't even use them together. It's it, but again, you know, stop supporting the Wii controller. Just stop it. Yeah. That that's another problem. Is like they're like, well, we can do that because people still have the Wii controllers, and it's like, that's not good enough. You have to make the next controller should be so good that no one ever wants to use the like the fact that we're still using the GameCube controller shows how little effort they've put into making controller since then you know like the wii u pro or the wii pro whatever the fuck that thing is called nintendo pro it's it's just a bullshit accessory that they they're not going to put 10 million dollars of research into it because they sell probably one for every five systems that they sell you know it doesn't it doesn't make sense i do think it would be interesting i'm not saying they should do it and i almost hope they don't it will be interesting if they had some sort of console that was designed such that you could also have uh, like a You'd have to buy them separately because if they package them together, they would both suck because it would just be too cheap. Um, but then have like a, like an iPad looking like tablet that has full controls and they make all of the games that work on both. So you can stream it to your TV or you could take it on the go. Actually, yeah, cool. I feel like that's what they might do with this, but it still makes me worry because is the you're going to have to... The bottleneck is obviously going to be the mobile device. Is that going to be fast enough to play legitimate games um, that would be on your console and do you really need a dedicated like are they going to even make it good enough to like use netflix and shit which is like something that they just never do because you know what i don't hate i don't hate the netflix on the wii u yeah no, I, I, I actually like... met their mobile devices but oh yeah yeah but which... i don't like how it doesn't stop itself yeah i'm was... surprised netflix even went for it i was watching i was using my gamepad in bed one night because i'm like turning on my tv and 
I started watching like I think it was like the first episode of Daredevil, and then when I woke up, um, my gamepad was dead. <laughs> nice. And I, and I had burned through all up epi- all the episodes of a. Uh... You mean by all episodes? You mean like thirty minutes? That thing's battery blows. Balls. Yeah, I'm sure it didn't get through all the episodes. <laughs> yeah, no chance. Because it was like twelve hours of. There's no way I think play video for twelve hours. No fucking way. Um, what I else we got? Yeah. Uh, Let's get off Nintendo. You like get off Nintendo? Nintendo bums the shit out of me. I know. I hope their E3 press conference is good, There's but no, I just don't no. see Didn't how it could it be. What? They're not. They're not at E3. Or they're whatever. At all. They're Nintendo. No, I don't think they're. They said there was no plans for anything. No, that's not true. Maybe maybe that means because they specifically said there's gonna be no NX or mobile talk around okay. E3, but they're saying that there's gonna oh, be Wii okay. U and so 3DS I, read, I read the head, I read the yeah. I apologize. There's gonna be stuff. I don't know if they're at E3 though. It, no, they'll do it direct. <laughs> it kind of sounded like it was E3 because they said no NX or mobile talk at E3, but they might just mean that they release a Nintendo Direct on the same day or whatever. So I can't um, wait till the NX <clears> is, comes out the day of E3. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. No, I wouldn't. I can't wait till the NX is like a Steam competitor that blows. I can't wait. I can't wait. Have you ever seen that movie uh, Burn After Reading? No, I know what it is. But I no. can't wait till uh, if, for listeners that have seen it. I can't wait till the NX is the the bike that George Clooney built in his basement. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that means. This is a bike that you, it's like a bike you pedal and you sit down on the seat and there's just a big dildo that goes up your ass. Nice as, as you pedal it. Nice. <laughs> so, that sounds right. That could be a Nintendo. It, sounds, it definitely sounds about what the NX should be. Just something that's just fucking you over and over again. <laughs> uh, the Virtual Boy Two. That's what the NX is. Oh my god! Can you imagine? Uh, no, I, I think the only time that. I've ever almost gotten sick off a video game was the. Uh, yeah, Virtual I've only Boy. used it once. Someone brought one into Jansen Ave, um, and that was the only time. I, I don't think I. It. I don't think I can ever use one because I'm a. I don't think I can. Actually, you know what? Cause I'm like a, a carrier for conjunctivitis. I don't think I should ever use like a um I uh I don't know if you're a carrier for uh, conjunctivitis. Do you oh are you always always contagious? Have. Yeah. Interesting. I've never heard that. So you'll never see me like I don't rub my eyes or anything like that. So don't worry about it. Huh. I'm gonna have to. Remember when you had that streak of getting pink eye when you were like younger? What if um, it was, what if it was all my fault? No, that was that was college. Okay. Yeah, that was just making really bad decisions in college for sure. Yeah, like I, like I yeah, I'm just a carrier. I don't get it, but I can give it. So watch out, pink eyes coming to your town. You know that you know that pink eye is not herpes, right? Those yeah. aren't. Oh, oh no. You're both. No shit. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking wrong. And it has nothing to do with your eyes. It's your it's your balls. Oh. oh. E. Yeah. Whatever. That doesn't matter. How do you think you do on a black light test on your cock? I I don't know. Would you do one? I'd be scared. Uh, I do a personal one. I mean, who 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 would I have to be showing it think to? We, think we could use the the hue lights as black lights? <laughs> I don't know. We could try it. I might try it. Do you, you want to see your room uh, with black lights? I might. No. That might, sounds a lot worse than a cock does. I might just lay down my carpet and just whip it out with the black light. Are you gonna get a magnifying glass too? Yeah. Well, the Hubble. <laughs> I'm timing. I'm timing as Hubble passes by. <laughs> the, the black light like somehow burns your ball. <laughs> <laughs> like burning an ant. <clears throat> anyway, so a good segue there is Fallout Four. Um, did you see that the? It's like it yeah. sounds like it's definitely coming. The Del Toro studio made that a CG means trailer for it. That I feel like it. they're extremely confident, which I like. I mean, that ha- that that has to cost a lot of money to have a movie director do your. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. Uh, uh, comment though, if it's a CG trailer, how far into the development are they? I don't know. Right, because I mean, I I just because it's been so long, like Bethesda actually did a um, follow because I think I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but I thought Os- uh, Obsidian did New Vegas, and then Bethesda did Skyrim. Bethesda did Skyrim, so that would make sense. I'm pretty sure they didn't, do, and that's the last game they do made. New Vegas, but New Vegas was like a carbon copy of right Fallout Three. Well, let me ask you. I mean, my instincts so tell was, me when did uh, Skyrim come out? Three years ago? I think more than that. So I'm, I mean I'm I sure this game. I, I would love right to now. think I would love to think that this game is primed and ready to go. Well, here's here's my thought, just off the top of my head. Uh, if they're releasing a CG trailer instead of a gameplay trailer, it's not coming out in 2015. Yeah. Well, the, also the rumor is it's been five years. Everything or well, four years. Well, also the rumors are that it's going to be a, a, a 30 to 45 minute demo behind closed doors. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, if they do a CGI trailer and then they have the game that's playable that says something else. I think it would be a real bummer if this game has come out this year. 
Yeah. I think it needs to come out it's, sooner rather than later. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. they got to make money because Elder Scrolls but, Online also, is not doing you know, it for I'd, them. I would also be okay with like a January, February, March, April date as well. Yeah. It doesn't need to be fall for them. Do you think that they – I would love to see the, the um, gains and losses with uh, – or the, I guess the cost versus um, – gain with um elder scrolls online they must be getting killed on that yeah that's that's another thing it makes you wonder like do they need to put because you, you think they need to make some money yeah, if you want to make some money you get this game out which also makes you wonder with the whole steam debacle with the mods um was that a thing that said well we're getting fucking killed on elder scrolls online we need to make some money let's start uh, selling I mods know. i think they just steam pro- i you know what no I they bet? were they were just a big a part of it as steam was i bet yeah they they dodged a lot of the a lot of the bad press, which is total bullshit. Because they they said that I, like behind the scenes they were just as big a part. I'm not of sure it. how business worked, but I'm sure they already cut their losses with uh that with uh Elder Scrolls Online. I'm sure it's done over with. Yeah, but I mean, they still want to make that money back. You know, you don't think they um, at least made that money back? No, I don't no. think so. I I think that they put a lot of money into it. I mean, the fact that they were charging 15 bucks a month or whatever for the game tells me that they needed to charge 15 bucks a month for the game, and it was such a disaster that they pulled it, like, what was it, like three months later or something like that? Yeah. That, to me, tells me that they... And remember, they put a shitload of time or money into marketing, too. If it wasn't they had, like, so, a five-minute CGI trailer. If it and, wasn't so close to The Witcher 3, I think I would buy it, but I don't think it will. When does it release for console? I thought I saw... I could be wrong, but I thought I said, like, February or uh, May 29th. Oh, I, thought that this what, I thought this was what the download thing said. Okay. I don't know. I was Saturday. I was hungover. I was looking at shit on, on PS4. So I'm going to start buying more stuff on PS4 since my PS4 is on here. So I was trying to get caught up yeah. on uh, what everything is going on. Yeah. Um, also, I'm in a dilemma. Do I pre-order Witcher 3, probably not play it for two days, or wait to the weekend, download it, and play it on the weekend? I'll be saving seven bucks I mean, if I download it now. Yeah, I mean, I hate pre-ordering, but if you're gonna buy it either way, because Wednesday nights are Fibbage nights. Yeah, uh, we've been really bad with doing the podcast on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, so there's a good chance we're recording Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, and then it's like I just wait and play it t- Thursday or Friday. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I don't you think do. it matters. Either either or works. But kind of, I'll probably buy it as soon as people start playing it. Yeah. It looks awesome. If you if you want to watch something funny, go find the clueless game, clueless gamer of Conan O'Brien playing it. Oh, that just reminded me. Uh, another reason to never go to games, uh, GameSpot dot com ever because it's the biggest piece of shit clickbait website ever. So Fallout or uh, Fallout Four. So Witcher Three was released early in like was it uh, the Emirates? Or Emirates whatever? United yeah. United Emirates. Yeah. So point is that there was leaked footage from an xbox one and gamespot ran a headline first of all gamespot runs headlines with 720p 1080p 900p like every fucking day it's so obnoxious and and these stupid people just go in there and like comment 600 times about you know arguing about the dumbest shit but um they said they had a headline that said leaked xbox one 720p footage now the problem with this is that they should have just said leaked Xbox One footage because the problem with saying 720p is The Witcher 3 is actually 900p and actually has a dynamic switching system to 1080p with yeah. Xbox One. So the, the PS4 runs at 1080p all the time. The Xbox One has 900p switching to 1080p. But the fucking video was 720p. But of course the video is 720p because when you export a video for PS4 or Xbox One, it comes at 720p. So they were just quoting the resolution of the video Can I... on purpose so that people would click it thinking that The Witcher 3 was in 720p. Well, we record the Elgato. I can record down to like 480p, can I? Yeah, you can record whatever you want. Yeah, but I'm so saying... if I exported a video at that, they would just take it by whatever I said it was? Well, they... I mean... If I record... No, if I recorded a video and just put it on YouTube and it said 480p, would they just be like, oh... Witcher 3 running a 480p on, that's, X, that's, on Xbox One. Yeah, I mean, that's literally what they did. They just said, like, they just posted the resolution of the video, and it's like, that's fucking stupid. It's really dumb. Like, and it's also, it's been reported ad nauseum that it's nine, you know, that yeah. Witcher 3 is 980p, 900p switching to 1080p with Xbox One, and it's 1080p on PS4. So it's like, running that art, running that headline is just a blatant attempt at getting a bunch of clicks. I, I usually hate asking this, but what's it running? Like, is it doing 30 or 60 on both? I believe both are 30, but I could be wrong. Yeah. 
Which makes sense because it's like an adventure. Can anybody type game. tell the difference between 900 p and 1080p? Because I certainly can't. Uh, it's really hard. Because I'm buying it on PS4 just because I don't want to put my Xbox One in here. I would much rather play it on Xbox One. Why? I like the controller better. Huh. I don't really care. I, I like both. Um, Except for first person shooters. It's the only one that I would really yeah. um, give a shit about which controller. I would, I would like. For, and fighting games, which PS4 is much better for. Yeah, I would love. Like, when we play Mortal Kombat X, I would love to be playing yeah. it in here. On Dude, the, I get blisters from the Xbox One controller. I get, controller. like, thrum, uh, thrum. I get thum, thumb cramps. Fucking sucks. So, Fallout 4. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I hope it's this year. I don't I, think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be either. I really was, like, high thinking it was. No, I wasn't high, but I was, like, really, like, into the idea that it was going to be this year because it's been so long. I mean, ultimately, too, even if they do announce it for December, which I don't think they will, they'll probably end up getting delayed. Bethesda's the kind of studio where it's not going to rush it out, yeah, you know? it sucks. Well, also, I think a lot of their conferences is going to be uh, Doom, too. They, they're they publishing Doom, I think, right? Are they? I don't even know. I think so. It's definitely going to be a lot of um, Elder Scrolls Online for the consoles. they got to get that going again. It's a cool game. I like that game. Yeah. Um, Check it out if you're a Skyrim fan. And it's just $60 and free to play now, right? Yes. No no monthly subscription. Uh, so another game that's a uh, Steam game, early access game, but supposedly going to be released on not only Steam, but the consoles as well. I, I think it was Xbox One and PS4, maybe something else, is this new Ark Dino Survivor. I don't give a shit about this game. Um, I mean, I don't think I'll ever buy it, but I think it looks pretty fucking awesome. It looked cool until I saw a dude riding a fucking scorpion. I was like, what the fuck is that? Well, the cool part about this game is it's 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 like a game. It's like a survival game. Where you get dumped, you know, naked with fucking nothing. And you have to survive in the jungle, find some food. But eventually, if you want to really survive, you have to end up taming animals and like making them like, you know, like your beast friend where you like, you know, ride like a Christopher Pratt or Chris Pratt and uh. The new Jurassic World. Something movie. like yeah. Like, Ma- tames, like, maybe it's actually Jurassic World, the video game. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> Can you get like a Harley and ride around with fucking Velociraptors? Uh, I hope not. God, that movie's gonna suck. I hope it's good, but I just know uh, it's not it, gonna be. It's it might be funny. I don't fucking know. Yeah. It's really sexist though. You know what's really funny and we never got to talk about this? Remember that Josh Whedon thing? Yeah. About how he ran his mouth about that one clip from uh uh Jurassic World. There's a part in Spoilers here. Spoilers. Um, Bruce Banner, the Hulk, Black Widow kind of have like a little love affair going on in uh, the new Avengers. At one point, Tony Stark says to Black Widow in like a like communication thing, he, she said, he said, I hope you're not too busy playing hide the zucchini with Banner. <laughs> that <laughs> nice. was a fucking line. And That's then, a good line. And then Joss Whedon has the balls to fucking criticize. Yeah. Like, that's that, a fucked up line. That, Hide the zucchini? That guy came out with the big. That guy's... Like, it's funny, multiple counts, because obviously Hulk has, like, big, like, shactus green yeah. cock. Yeah, I think it's the green that he's really going It's really for. funny, yeah. but, like, just fucking ran his mouth about one part in... Yeah, he came off like, world. the biggest douchebag ever. And that. now he's got all those fucking... There's a lot of sexist problems. He, like... He's, well, didn't he leave Twitter? Yeah, he's gone. I don't understand yeah. it, because I watched the movie, I didn't think there was anything, like crazy about it bad about it i didn't understand what I people just, are getting all bent on shape about care. I, I can't i just thought it was funny that there was a hydro zoo like in a fucking kids movie there's a hydro zucchini line yeah i i hope there's like little kids that come out of the movies like daddy daddy i'm gonna play hydro zucchini with you <laughs> yeah uh sure that guy sounds like a real douchebag but he sounds like a dick now he's um, interested in doing batman movies so fuck him i can't wait till he does one uh, but yeah, the Dino Survivor. I mean, my biggest problem I mean, with it is it's early access. My problem is my like. biggest problem is I don't understand these fucking survival games. Like you need permadeath, not stupid respawns. I want like yeah. I mean, they haven't, I really, want, they haven't you, really said what it's gonna be. I want but, if you die, it, it uninstalls the game from your fucking hard drive, and then you reinstall. It takes ten hours to do. You would hate that game more than anyone in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even like play retro games because they're, they're they kick well, you back just, to the beginning would, of the level. <laughs> I would kill everybody. I would. Nobody would be safe around me. Yeah, you would. You would die in like the first hour, and it would make you restart uh, your character, and you would just never play it again. Well, they, and also they're talking about like, oh, you can tr- you can tame the animals, and all they show people is riding like uh, pterodactyls. I was gonna I was gonna try to be funny, and say pterodactyls, but I, I couldn't get it out. 
But uh, they were showing people riding pterodactyls and fucking scorpions. Like I fuck. didn't even see the scorpion part. I didn't watch the yeah, whole it's thing. It's like a guy walk across the river riding a fucking. He's like like fording the river. Is that from uh, yeah. Oregon Trail? Is that what they call it? Yeah, like fording. I mean, that doesn't really bother me that much. I mean, yeah, you could say of this... all the animals to ride. Yeah. No, I hear Scorpion. you. I'm just saying, like, if you could take a look at Elder Scrolls Online or Skyrim and find some ridiculous shit, and also, too. That doesn't really bother me I refuse all. to believe that you can take down Transaurus Rex with a fucking bow and arrow. I don't think they really did. I mean, it had, like, a hundred arrows in it. Yeah, but you think a hundred arrows could take down a Did it ever go Rex? down? I don't know, but I, I mean, eventually. I don't think it really, I don't I don't think I ever saw it go down in there. I watched an elephant today take, like, 200 fucking bolts to the head, and it survived for a while. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think they ever took down the T-Rex in that trailer. I think right. they were... Are you saying we have to take down Transformers Rex? I don't know. I think the game looks pretty cool. I'll should we, never. Should we I'm get sh- it? I'm sure I'll never play it. But let's, let's get it right now. Uh, especially because it's on Steam and it'd be hard. And we're back. Hard we just Twitch. played uh, Ark <laughs> and we took down three Transformers Rexes and we trained with one, one arrow right through three heads in a row. If you've ever seen the end of uh, the Lost World, we just reenacted. Um, we trained one of our babies and we killed somebody. The graphics. He was an engine. The graphics in that game look fucking fantastic. Not not that kind of engine. He worked for engine. You guys are racist. Is that funny that like Jurassic Park thing is like their company was Engine? It's really close to being Engine. I don't remember that, and I don't see. Yeah, it, it was like Engine. Oh, I don't like, even remember. It's close to a race. It's close to a racial slur. I don't know. I think you're the only one that noticed that. I think it might say more about well, it's you. Because it's my heritage, man. Ten percent <laughs> something. You are not ten percent fucking ten, Indian. There's no a ten, chance. There's a ten percent chance somebody in my family at one time had sex with me. <laughs> there you go. That, that that's more like it. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it looks cool. I don't know. I'm sure we'll never play it. I just don't understand this. this well, the nice part is if they're really going to do, I'll never do the early access thing. If they're really going to release it for PS4 and Xbox One at that point, then I can say, oh, this is a completed game. Mm-hmm. I can decide if I want to spend money well, on it. Well, every time I watch somebody play one of those, it seems like they just get more pissed off than they have fun actually playing. Yeah, you have to, the, the, the biggest problem it is, is that these early access games seem to never get finished. Yeah, like people Ru- pay for or them Rust and, and um, DayZ are still going. Right. Like, I think they re, they, they, scrapped rust and just restarted yeah it's really weird I don't know. which i guess you know if you're gonna spend money <coughs> there's something cool about that you're part of the journey of the game yeah. and shit um, i mean if you have enjoyment fuck it why not but yeah i, I mean know. one point minecraft was a fucking early access game and everybody fucking freaked the fuck out of it i mean the reason that it excites me is because i miss turok so much and this is like the closest thing to turok i've seen in um whatever years uh but I don't know. Very cool. Very cool graphics. I'm sure it'll suck like every other early access game does. What else do we have on the, the, do- <laughs> the docket? Oh, you only have Coke. Uh, oh, King's Quest. Game I'm very excited for. Some of my favorite gaming memories. I mean, that was really Mario and King's Quest were the games that got me into gaming. Uh, you know, that was Mario was the console gaming and King's Quest was the computer gaming. In the voice cast they've just released, which I wasn't really sure about this game. I'm still not really sure about this game. But the, when they released the voice cast list, it's fucking ridiculous. Not going to lie, when I saw uh, the notes, I thought it said Christopher Reeve. And I was like, well, he's dead. No, that would be interesting. Yeah, so that's going to be a hard one to pull off. No, but I mean, the, the star of it is Christopher Lloyd, Back to the Future. He's the main guy? What do you mean he's the main guy? In King's Quest? No, well, I think he's is like that the guy that like I remember all I've seen of the like the thing is the guy running around like no guy, no no he's guy. he's the he's the old king okay uh but I I be believe a great narrator. I believe that Sorry. the I believe that the old king is the younger king in the future or something so I think he kind of is the narrator so in a way back to the future four exactly okay. uh they also have da, 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 Josh Keaton who's from the new Spider Man Back to the Future the animated series I don't know who that is uh they have Zelda Williams. Any and relation is, to Robin Williams? Yeah, it's his daughter. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and he, she is named for the Zelda franchise, by the way. Um, Probably not. Not, not particularly. Yeah. She heard. And then one of my favorite, uh, where is it here, is Wallace Shawn from The Princess Bride. He's the guy who had, he's like the short, bald guy who has all the, um, who does all the riddles. He's the smart guy. He's fucking See hilarious. See the dude with Andre the Giant? Yeah, I yeah. fucking hate that weird looking guy. I love he's, him. He's creepy looking as fuck, dude. Like his voice, voice, his voice is perfect for this kind of game. You're crazy. If that guy whispered to you in a dark room, you'd fucking kill yourself. I don't want to be friends with him, but he's perfect for a character, the king, like a fantasy type. Uh, well, obviously he was because he did the Princess Bride, but um, I wonder, like, like did the, the same thing with the Double Fine Adventure with uh, Broken Age, like, like Jack Black's in it. 
is he buddies with the guy and they get him for cheap, or do they really have the budget to get these people? Because that's a lot of stuff for a game that doesn't have, I don't know, you know a Call a, of Duty that, type was that budget. A Kickstarter? Well, yeah, actually, it was right. Christopher Lloyd probably hasn't worked in twenty years. I don't know. I bet you he does a lot of voiceover shit. I'm sure he does a lot of fucking um, Back to the Future Comic Cons things. Yeah. Um, I don't know. No, I don't think it was. No, I don't think it was either. Yeah, because you know, no, it's not because it's released by Sierra, who was the original people that did it. Which didn't they get shut down? I don't really know the background story of that at I all. I think that two people left, and that was like the end of it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Because they were the one, you know, they were the ones King's Quest and a whole bunch of other <laughs> games back in the day. But yeah, I was wondering that with the Double Fine Adventure because you know they had what like a three and a half million dollar budget for that. They ended up getting Jack Black and what's his face, who I can never remember his name, who plays the main character. Um, oh, Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood, who does like a shitload of dialogue. But I think Jack Black. Character. Jack Black did Brutal Legend. Yes. So. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, but like they're buddies. So does does did they get him for cheap? Probably. Because Brutal Legends, I think, had a, a bigger budget because it wasn't a Kickstarter game. Yeah. Um, Maybe whereas this Jack game Black like felt bad about um, being a part of that shitty game. That game got great reviews. Yeah, it just didn't sell. Yeah, well, that's true. Uh, I didn't. I didn't like it. You didn't. Pl- you played it. Yeah, I uh, yeah. got into this weird RTS thing, and I did not like it. And then people loved like the RTS part. Interesting. Yeah, I it got, the game it got cor- great reviews. I thought the game was corny and like not funny. And people thought it was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Well, you, if you like Jack Black, he's he's uh. Jack Whatever. Black is only funny in Tropic Thunder. He, he also plays a very small role in Broken Age. Um, he plays a minor character, but Elijah Wood, fucking dude, like he has, he must have put a lot of hours like in that Elijah booth. Wood. Oh, he, does a, he does a really good job. Um, and I don't know who plays the girl. I don't think it's anybody famous. Robin Williams. Zelda. A Zelda Williams, that's her name. I hope she doesn't suck in King's Quest. I hope they're not like, oh, we like Robin, so. Who well, says she does The Legend of Korra? Is yeah. That, is that the TV done, show or a, uh, I don't know. a game? Good question. It's very popular. Yeah. And she, the fact that she's... Do you, have you ever seen... I couldn't believe this. There was actually a um, a commercial... I think I sent it to you. I don't know if you ever watched it. There was a commercial f- after Robin Williams died, but it, it had already existed. It was a Nintendo commercial. Yeah. And it talks about Robin Williams, how his daughter was named after Zelda. It's like, why the fuck didn't they ever play that in America? I never saw that commercial. Maybe it seems like a home run. He may have had something to do with it. What's that? He may have had something to do with it never appearing you, in it. You think so? A lot of those a lot of those Japanese commercials never. Why is shown. it English then? Wouldn't they have subtitles sure. or something? I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like the, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe but, it, like maybe it did appear in America. We and like it's it. it's so yeah it's so not embarrassing. Like I, I understand people who do like those crazy Japanese commercials. They don't want those airing. But like it was just like I love my daughter. I love Zelda. I named her after Zelda. Like it the, wasn't like the a Tommy weird... Lee Jones ones are the best. I think the um, I think the Vinny Chase ones are the best. Uh <laughs> Those are good. Tommy Lee. And Johnny Chase. I'm sorry. I Tommy, don't wanna... Tommy Lee Jones ones are pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, there's... There, who else does... Uh, I think there's a good Leo one. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, that's literally all I have for show notes. So I don't know what else you got. Got nothing. Should we get out of here? You added zero show notes. You got to come up with something. I had stuff, but I lost it. I need you to come up with one I topic. Came up with, I came up with a good a lot, a lot of banter and... um distractions earlier one on. topic that's it no but I, I I derailed the show for the first 30 minutes so I think I did good I want a topic out of you um he's looking around the room he's I like am, Mario Luigi Batman I'm trying to think what's a good topic Bob Barker no I was okay. gonna say what do you think about Brienne of Tarth's character in um, Star Wars? I don't know. She looks like a stormtrooper. Yeah, it's that's, weird. That's uh, metal. Oh, awesome. Two weeks in a row, I've skipped Game of Thrones. I don't know what are you doing? I, I finally, I literally watched I'm last done. week's. I'm done. Yesterday. So. Did it. I saw people were calling it the worst episode of Game of Thrones yet. I don't think it was. I, I would say it was mediocre. Did, did it change shit? Not that I noticed, but there wasn't a lot that went on. But I haven't I haven't watched this week's yet. I watched literally watched last week's like last night or yeah, yeah yesterday. I'm officially done. I mean I've been done for two weeks. It's yeah. really it's really hard, but I'm done. Yeah. You don't want to have it ruined until nope. you until you at least finish the fifth book and even then I'm gonna start reading at least an hour every day outside. Yeah. That's good. You should. Stop yeah. stop kicking the table. I would do my best. <laughs> I can't wait to kick that thing in it. Does this one fold? Yeah, it folds and this whole thing goes down. You should imagine the fucking disaster that would be. Yeah, whatever. We'll go. Uh, on, we'll go on, on. We'll go out on top. Yeah, we just have to start 
doing YouTube podcasts with our laptops and just leave all this shit on the floor. <laughs> all right. I got nothing. Yeah, me either. All so, right. um, click here. Click there. This is our Twitch stream. This is our Let's Plays. Um, I promise I'll try to get a schedule up. We're working with my roommate because he plays a lot of Dota. Maybe do Monday and Tuesday night Dota. Uh, we'll see because he has a bad – he's a potty mouth. So we're working on that. Yeah, we got we to gotta train. We got to electroshock him. I think I hear my dog barking. There's spunky barking. That's a good sign. Yeah, follow us. YouTube, we do a bunch of shit there. Um, oh, we haven't this. done it. If you guys have any game suggestions for us, we've been hitting – we've hit a drought. Yeah. There's just nothing that stands out for us that want to play. Also, we never talked about it. Um, our Tales from Borderland um, episode 2 got fucked up. The video or the audio is all fucked up, so we're not continuing that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to Twitch them instead of play them for YouTube. Uh, Game of Thrones will continue as normal. And they are very good, so you should definitely but, tune yeah. into those Twitches. They are hilarious. Tales, we'll, maybe we'll redo number two. We'll, we got to figure it out. It's never going to happen. <laughs> it's two hours of us making this. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to log into the Twitch. Or we yeah. also save our Twitches yeah, now we'll, so you can we'll watch them there. We'll archive them. But it'll, right, but it'll have the recap of episode yeah. two. So you, you know, you'll know generally what's going on. For some reason, when we, whenever we talked, the game audio just wouldn't show up. It was just gone. Yeah, so. we had a lot of problems with... Um, Oh, we'll figure it the out. Elgato software, but and the best thing about the Elgato software is it doesn't tell you there's anything wrong until you figure it out by yourself. Yeah, it's so, good times. It's really fun. Yeah, especially when you're recording an hour and a half video. Yeah. Uh, I'm Andy. I'm Adam. And we are Eight Bit Bourbon. Bum 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 bum.